Sorry. I tried to use a uh I tried to use a hotspot and it just it was uh, it was not the speed test looked better, but it just was not. Mm -mm. Not so hot. Not so hot spot. But I did turn it up to what I'm on now. I turned up to 3,500 bits. So there you go. So there you go, chat. There it is. Omega bits. Lots of bits. If there's anything I'm known for, it's all my bits. <clears throat> okay. Hold on. I'm going to join the Discord. I don't see Moon in there, though. So that's good. No Moon yet. <clears throat> so that means I'm not too late. Name one bit. I got that bit about the sun and the blind people. <laughs> I got that bit. That's a good bit. I'm going to join. Hello. I gotta change my settings. Input. Output. Mm -hmm. Penta's here. Penta. Penta. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me. Real hey. Penta. Hey. Real Penta. Hey, it's Mr. Big Penta. Who wants a hundred dollars? Me. Yo. Who wants a hundred dollars? Me. Anyone else? Me. Moon, hey, you just won a hundred dollars, man. Wait, Look at I, hey, you there bucks. you go. All yeah, right. I want a hundred bucks. <laughs> Incredible. I'm re I'm redistributing the wealth. I hate I hate libs. What? I don't. I just don't like them. What? I don't like them. I'm not a lib. I'm a communist. Uh, what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It. Call me, call me scum. Hate it all. <clears throat> Dummy, mummy, cummy. Get those kids back in the factory. In my opinion. Oh, dude, if they if they want to work, they should be able to work. Oh, you guys you know, think that the minimum wage choice. should go up? Wrong. We'll just we'll just lower the age the age working age the working age. Wrong. And I agree. What do you want kids to starve? They'll work for candy too. Mm -hmm. Base or and Fortnite V bucks. What's worse, starving children or child labor? Dude, imagine if you paid him in V bucks, but you had a creator code, and you got a kickback. No, Bro, that's capitalism, baby. There, there were places where where I lived in Florida, you could work at fifteen. There you go. I worked to fifteen. Me too. And I worked at, at sixteen. Oh wait. But it was a I was a server in a restaurant, and you weren't allowed to touch the alcohol. Did you? Were you getting paid under the table? No, you you get paid, but like you're not allowed to like do. You just basically bring out. You weren't even allowed to take orders. It was like you wash dishes and you like take take out food, and that's it. Kept you in the back under the table. But but you were a real employee. You didn't get paid under the table. Now that you mention it, I did get cash. Did you? Yeah, did you yeah. get paid? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. 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 Definitely didn't have a bank account. Sure, for when was your first job? My first job, my very, very first job, I was a paper boy. Oh, you have a little bike? <laughs> did, did, yeah, did you have to wake up early? Yeah, I was a paper boy. I had to wake boy. up early. I had my Bridge. little Walkman, and I had to walk in a certain way so it wouldn't skip the song. And it would be like <laughs> oh, yeah. below below zero, and I'd just be delivering paper. Walkman? Wait, How you, old are wait, you? Did, hang on, hang on. Did you deliver papers I'm on 28. Foot? What the hell? Yeah, you should have had an MP3 player at that point, right? Yeah, man. No, this was when I was like six or oh. eight. <laughs> yeah. All right, right before MP3 player. I, re I remember I got my yeah. first MP3 player when I was like in the seventh grade. The first yeah, Walkmans I, were fucked. Like, it was like you could turn the Walkman sideways or upside down. It wouldn't read the disc. You had to like keep them upright somehow. Yeah, that show was cringe. I, I remember, I remember walking around my fucking neighborhood in Virginia Beach, fucking. Bop into some Backstreet Boys on my Walkman when I was like seven, dude. Yeah, oh, dude. right. Dude, I was fucking banging, dude. Oh, God. It's a Walkman, not a Runman. 
You don't want it to skip. Yeah, Rude. they named it like <laughs> they named it that on purpose, dude. Mm-hmm. Dude, I did a paper round on my bike, so I should just like yeet them from my from like I had a satchel on one shoulder, and I would just yeet them from the bike. That's cool, man. That's, now, like a shopping cart. Now in America, I got hit by, like, I got hit by a car though because I wasn't paying attention. Now you in America, it's car. like uh, you got, got hit, hit by, by a car. car? Yeah. <laughs> Are you? Were you okay? Well, obviously, but yeah, yeah I that's why I'm I, not <laughs> I I bounced. Nice. Yeah. You know, when you're a kid, your guy, bones are made of rubber. The guy was fucking so He was like, my car, what the fuck are you doing? And then he, like, realized what was going on. He was like, are you okay? And I remember, like, his change of tone. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm here, come, here comes little kid stripping. Fuck He's just like, up. la, 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 I love my job. Bam. What the hell, kid? <laughs> Get out of my I way. Was, did he tell I your was parents? 12, dude. I was just like a gangly <laughs> acne mess. Did he tell just your parents? Clap me. No, no, no. I was like, I never spoke to them. Like, he just hit me and then just like went to work. And I was like, I just kept doing my paper round. Reminds yeah. me of the time I robbed a uh, one armed oh. veteran at the corner store as a kid. What the hell's uh, wrong with you? Oh, yeah. yeah I used I to roller, rollerblade up. Yeah, rollerblade up into that bitch. Take That's his so shit. cool. Fucking How some you... jawbreakers in the pocket, dude. 50 cents worth of candy. Yeah. I, he never told my parents. Then you stole his car gonna... and you ran yeah. over someone on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> You literally just rolled on up and like ch- checked his pockets, bro. You ran him? No. Oh. <laughs> Yo, now that you meant, now that you mentioned the guy that hit me on my paper round was wearing rollerblades. Oh shit! He's like, I shouldn't Wait, be driving that? with these on. <laughs> Why is he this is a rollerblade. Gets out of his car, roller <laughs> rollerblades up, away from dude. the scene. <laughs> It's out of his car, drug rollerblades away. Oh man, I got warrants. Rollerblades out. <laughs> <laughs> dude i used to go to the corner store um so there were two corner stores one had the armless veteran that i robbed that i was no longer allowed in the store and then the other one my mom would send me up there to get milk and i had a, i had like a shitty little trick bike and this bitch wanted two gallons of milk okay how how fuck is a kid supposed to carry two gallons of milk safely on a shitty little trick bike, man. Bro, you put uh, two carry bags. You put one on each side of the handlebars. That's what I did, but it was still a precarious situation. If you, watch, if you watch turn two gallons at once, if you turn left we, or we right too much, the fucking uh, <laughs> the bag gets stuck in the wheel and then you die. You guys, hold on a second. You yeah. guys needed two gallons of milk a day. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're fucking we're a milk family. That's why I'm so shredded now, dude. I mean, yeah, he's shredded as fuck. Full, bro. full head of hair, bro. Everything. <laughs> I mean, I liked milk too, but man, how many of how many little little bastards were there in that trailer? <laughs> it wasn't a trailer. It was actually oh, a really was, nice house. Oh, sorry. That's just my imagination. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> little Moon, if you don't get up there, and get us two gallons of milk. <laughs> little Moon brings two gallons back for like the nine other kids in the trailer, and then I, they I were used just. To do- I used to do it because she would be like, I'll buy you an Icy, dude. And I'm like, all right. Oh. Yeah, dude. You get a fucking Pepsi Icy, man. Well, how the hell are you going to balance two gallons of milk in an Icy? <laughs> I, that, you- was, that was the, the ultimate test. Bro, you got you got one gallon of milk on each side of your handlebars, and the Icy's in your mouth, but you're not eating it. You've, like, started it, and then you just hold it in your teeth. No one damn well that's going ride. all over your shirt. And then every time you every time you let go of the handlebars to take some icy, you just fucking steer out of control wildly because of the milk. Someone in chat said you drank the icy at the store. That shit would, would take a long oh. time, bro. Yeah, so dude. My, oh my, my god. I'd get a large. My problem is I get a large blue icy, and I'd have I don't know maybe three sips, and I'd be like, mm, I'm done with this. That's too much. Yeah, because there's only we, like a little uh, bit of syrup in it that's good. The rest is just gross ice. Yep, we didn't have ices. We had like freeze pops. That was like the thing. Yeah, like, I'm thinking. Pop. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking of freezy pops. What the fuck's a freezy pop? Like an I think pop. it's what you guys are. You, you guys are saying. Wait, what is like an the, icy? They're to like you the guys? long no, no. flavored ice in the packaging. It's the That's polar. Pop. It's the polar bear. You cut one end. Yeah, the That's icy the is the. Pop. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's like a it's like a slushy or um. It's, I, yeah, it's slushy. It's, it's the polar bear yeah, that yeah, people yeah. in Houston they get it on their car. Yeah. Wait, Wait, it might be a. Do you go, yeah. you guys, it might be a. It might be push pop. Do you have a push? Was you could do a push pop? I've never pop had push pops. A push pop is different. I always called them frosties. Well, that's <laughs> that's from Wendy's. That's a branded thing. No, did I call? It so it was icy though. True. But, uh, yeah. yeah. I uh, 
I called them slushies when I was a kid, but I don't do it now because I'm afraid people will laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what they were called, but uh, when I was in Canada, we always got them a place called Max. We had a little like convenience store called Max, and we get slushies. But I don't think we would call them slushies. Right. This this is what I would get. These motherfuckers, and then you would cut the top off. And, and like, those are those are what were they called? We called them ice pops in England. Yeah, slurpees. I don't think, they, I don't think yeah, they call them ice pops in America. That's so I, I, my mom used to buy these sometimes. Uh, we just call them popsicles. Oh yeah, I guess popsicles <laughs> would be. What you mean. Yeah, those are uh, freezy pops, and if you eat enough of them, your the side of your mouth starts getting cut. Bro, mm. yeah, but like you used mm. to eat them, and then uh, they change the color of your tongue. Dude, I'm looking it up now, yeah. and I don't see anything. I don't see any uh, icy themed donk with the polar bear. Donk. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I know what my next project is. <laughs> I gotta make that. I don't know what nobody's done DMCA that yet. DMCA I know. Down project is, yeah. dude. What they're gonna DMCA a donk? Didn't you get yeah. DMCA on? Didn't you get DMCA on your last match? You can't DMCA a donk. That's uh, that's that's creative freedoms and, and shit. Didn't yeah. you get DMCA'd on your last, like, merch line that you I did? I did. MIT sent me a very angry email. <laughs> yeah. Well, not me. Really? They, yeah, they sent it to the uh, <laughs> to the merch guys, and their legal team was pissed off at me. But I was like, look, you guys upload. I was like, you guys sold it, man. I just sent you the design. Because <laughs> I, mean, I was like, instantly, I was like, I came on stream next day. I was like, I don't know what they're doing over there, man. I just got a link. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about any of it. <laughs> I just, I, I'm not. What was, the, what was the merch store? It was uh It was a really cool design. It was uh which is a shame. Uh, I think it, I've seen the design. Yeah. It, oh, the merch store. Uh, who was yeah. it? Um, <laughs> shit, I don't know. Let me see. He burned that bridge, <laughs> man. He he doesn't know no more. Well, they were stoked because it. Well, the problem was, they were stoked because it sold so much that they wanted the money. So they were like do we ship these and risk getting sued or do we like, what do we do? And, uh, well, people got their t-shirts. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. So they, they, sh they shipped the ones where people already ordered and, uh, th but then they took it down. So I don't I mean, know. What are they going to do? How do they, how do they, yeah. what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Go, what are they going to sue them? What are they going to sue us? <laughs> Bro, what the dude, they're going to be like, we're going to sue you guys, and then they're going to go to their alumni and be like, all right, guys, listen, remember when you went to MIT 20 years ago? We need your financial help now. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they're going to start they, soliciting they do, money. <laughs> they do that anyway. <laughs> they, they were going to do that anyway. What they're yeah, going to do is... They need to do it again for extra money for the lawsuit. Right, right. They're going to pull up Mike Block, and they're going to be like, this guy's making a mockery of our institution. <laughs> we need money what? to sue this guy. He's making MIT look like shit. That's what that's what's gonna happen. You ever done a smart Mike Block arc where like he gets hit in the head and then all of a sudden like he remembers his MIT training? I like to uh I I like to do just like moments of like savant, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like moments of just like say some clear shit and just be like <laughs> and then we tie him down and shoot him in the head. <laughs> but yeah. Uh I I thought I thought about it. I don't. The problem is that I'm not very smart, though, so it's kind of hard to RP <laughs> things that you aren't capable of doing. You know what I mean? You don't know astrophysics. Make it till you make it, dude. I don't. Not even convinced space is real. Cause like, how can it always be expanding? That doesn't make. That makes zero sense to me. They're still figuring that out. Yeah. yeah. Like how? How? I mean, surely there's just got to be at some point. There's got to be a wall or some shit. Mm-hmm. The I mean, so space wall. <laughs> I mean, yeah. there's got to be. How can it? How can you even even like comprehend? like true eternalness like forever that doesn't make that's, any sense you can't. that's why you don't think about space because that's when you start getting like crazy that's just too much space none of that nah. shit makes sense no because it, it's not real it's not how can it be real <laughs> it's now just we're going not way too real. far over it's not real <laughs> it's just going around saying it's not real that's, Bro, the, listen, easiest thing, that's the easiest thing to comprehend it's just not real there are people on twitch who think the moon landing was fake okay this is nothing dude I mean, nothing. if you That's... think about it, like, I feel like we put people on space before, like, printers and, and shit. That seems crazy to me. I feel like the Pretty technology, wild. it just wasn't there. That's yeah, like, but... that's like my favorite theory. My favorite, um, not round earth theory is the 
giant ice ball where we're on a giant ball of ice and there's like holes in it. And mm. so we're surrounded by giant, there's like little pockets in the giant ice ball. And that's what the ice caps are. That's the best one. I That's the one I'm going with that one. That's the one I believe. Wait, if there's pockets, why would the ice balls be where the pockets are? No, no, no. That, it's like, imagine if there's a, there's a oh, giant. Like under the ocean is more ice, you mean? Under no, 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 no. It, it's like we're, we're, imagine a circle and a, there's a huge ball of ice, right? God, and then the earth dude. is, a, is inside, there's a circle Stripping. inside no, of no, that. No, no, no. Stripping, you know the old, they were like Skittles on paper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, it. yeah, those. Oh, shit, yeah, okay. Each one of those is an Earth. You oh, know, yeah, I understand. I mean, if you think yeah. about it, NASA was just like money laundering, but for Nazis, because we wanted their research. That's so... Yeah, but it, it wasn't the Nazi money, though. No, 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 no. We, we wanted the research, so we had to, like, get them into the country and figure out what they knew. You know what I'm saying? So why wouldn't no, they fake it, the moon it, landing? It, 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 it was people laundering. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like it's like it's essentially money laundering, but you know, we needed to know what all the all the shit that they knew, so fuck it, let's fake the moon landing. <laughs> so it's X Corp, <laughs> cut his mic. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get him out of here. Cut his mic. Streamer Penta's been banned and is also missing now. <laughs> Dude, I we can't talk about that. I got I got a Nets DG report a couple of days ago, guys. We gotta stop talking about the what U.S. government laundering people from Nazi Germany. <laughs> what, 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 what is that? What, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, Moon's been flagged, dude. We got chill. Wait, what is that? I don't know what that is. If he's been flagged by proxy, we've been flagged. Like there's, that's... there's like a special regulation in Germany that's on so how they uh, regulate the internet. It's like a, I think it's a law. See? I don't know. See? Oh, you don't have to worry about that thing. That thing, anyone can file that. I've got oh, that I, randomly. I, I, yeah, I'm not worried about it. I just think it's fucking funny. <laughs> because yeah. when I got it, they were... I'm pretty sure someone reported me because I said all German Mario levels suck. That's all, I, <laughs> that's all I said. They do. I'm pretty sure, like, anyone in Germany can make that, like, report. <clears throat> the Japanese levels are the only good ones. Wrong. I don't, I don't know. That's how I feel. I guess some of us <laughs> like a challenge. <laughs> or puzzles. I'm gonna print it out and wipe my ass with it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, mm. it's it's way further past time than I thought it was because I was. Can I just to ask stuff. one more question? Yeah. yeah. Moon. Yeah. Did you watch it? Oh my god, I did. <laughs> I and did and. Watch. Okay, look. All right. I gave it up for the pump up the jam transitions. I did give it up for that. That said, <laughs> the interview parts that I watched were fucking stupid. Stupid. And I did not, Terrible. I did not enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank the, you. A hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I consider myself a connoisseur of British humor, too. So I don't know. We let's ask Strippin'. Have you seen Kunk on Earth? Oh yeah, true. We got Strippin' here. I saw Hello? it. What did you think? <laughs> yeah, what do you think, I haven't sir? seen it. <laughs> sir, 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 sir. I thought it was funny sometimes. Oh. Yeah. Like there was just enough in one episode for me to be like, eh. Wait, Wait, okay. It's on Netflix? Netflix? I'll do the next one. It's on yeah. Netflix. It has right, 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. I'll watch I, it. I'll watch it tonight. I liked all of the references to the sad, poor loser peasants. Like that, that got me. Yeah. How many episodes did you watch? I, I watched the whole thing. Oh, I, mean, I, I only watched one episode. I think there's four or five episodes. Dude, I asked my wife. I was like, have you seen this? I was like, it has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. And then she was like, no, I don't think I've heard of that. And then I showed it to her. She's like, oh, my God. I watched I watched 30 seconds of this, and I had to turn it off. Why? <laughs> she didn't even get that far, dude. So it got me because there was some Reddit thread where people were like, this is the funniest show I've ever seen in my life. The funniest show I've ever seen in my life. And then I look it up 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. I was like, oh, I got to watch this shit. And then uh, Chelsea and I were sitting there watching it. And after 40 minutes, I turned over to her and I'm like, this is terrible. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, I, we said no one, no one, neither of us laughed the whole time. I was like, this is, I was like, this is awful. I hate this. Well, oh. I like British humor, but I feel like I got to be in a certain mood to, to like watch a British humor show. I don't even think that's British humor. Listen, hey. <laughs> I like I, I like the extras more than everyone else, right? Okay, Pro probably more than everyone else. Um, I, I I guess my review should also come with the asterisk that I did watch it all and I enjoyed it, the parts of it, but I was also playing Neo the whole time. Were you high? Oh. Were you high? No. No, he wasn't really watching. He was listening yeah, yeah, to it. Yeah, like like I would get like one or two laughs an episode, but the episodes are pretty long. It was like it was okay enough that it could be the background. Which I, Neo were you playing too? Two, yeah. 
It's a good one. I just think good it's game. it's bad. The marketing team has like they they went they, they they went to work on Reddit because I didn't see a single negative comment. It's not a hundred percent. It was okay. You had your hopes up, and my my expectations were this is a Netflix show. That show sucks. You know what I mean? It's not that yeah. it's just okay. That show is terrible. It's awful. Are you, don't let your wife hear you talking about shit talking Netflix shows. <laughs> what are you doing, you fool? I like those Netflix animes, guys. I feel like I'm a I'm a, I feel like I'm a, a rare breed. Which one? The, there's the fucking Dota one. I really like the Dota one. I like uh, the, the anime. Uh, I, like, dude, I love the Castlevania one too. I like Castlevania. Oh, those. Good. Okay. My wife made that. I know. So why are you talking shit? I'm gonna tell I mean, you. No, I love Con Castlevania. Is one of my like Con Con top Earth three animes. Like from the trailer, it's just and I it's just a spin on Idiot Abroad. Maybe I oh, don't know. I haven't seen that. Maybe. Have That's you guys the one seen... with Ricky Gervais, right? Yeah, yeah. Carl Pilkington and Ricky Gervais. Ah, Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais takes his like takes his like English mate around the world, and he doesn't appreciate anything. Reese Darby did did a show like that too. You British people, you guys love sending people places. Idiot Abroad is like the best, the best version of any. If you want to watch something actually fucking funny, it's Idiot Abroad. I've seen it's so good. I remember when it, that's an old show. Do the that's British just love show. sending people to like abroad, and then them there's being like, why isn't there bean on this toast? And then <laughs> yeah, we, and then people we laugh. Like, and we just <laughs> fucking we grab an English guy that's never left his fucking town, and we go 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 that way, and he's like, what the fuck is this? And he's just not happy. He's never happy, and the fact that he's miserable. Oh my god, is hilarious. That's Gordon Ramsay. That's you're yeah. oh you're so right. That's all Gordon Ramsay does. He just goes that, he's that like, is, what the fuck? That is literally the British <laughs> archetype. British like, any form okay, of British okay, celebrity. Right, like I'm getting it. The the way that other countries <laughs> find English people funny is when they're at their saddest. <laughs> like, or this angriest. Thing? Wait a second. Is this what's like a one? form of is this like neo colonialism, except it's like in the form of like popular yes. media? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. man. They're like literally oh, yes. the rest of the world. You know? what's What's the one show where the guy goes around with his dad and his dad's like 80 years old? Uh, uh, and they're English. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> isn't that John Mulaney and his dad? Is who? John Mulaney and his... Wasn't that John Mulaney and his dad that went away? No, no. Know. They're English. Uh, and the dad, the dad's always... He's like super uptight. He's like really, really uptight. And he's he's like weirdly obsessed with like Churchill. It's really strange. I don't know. Jack Whitehall, that's the one. Yes. Oh, Jack Whitehall, yes. Yeah. Jack Whitehall yeah. takes his dad abroad, and his dad is like kind of racist, like old. Oh, yes. Man, way. <laughs> Not kind of. He is. He oh, is yeah, racist. He actually is. <laughs> he's like actually racist. Yeah, he's fucking weird. All right. All right. Previously on the Myriad. Two long weeks ago, the players continued their journey away from the destroyed Aegis Catchel, which has recently been hit by a fleshy meteor due to a grotesque ritual created by its previous inhabitants. Since then, uh, me and Strippin have been on vacations, and the party has been on a northward path to find Radiant Mike, who they believe knows more about the apocalyptic situation. They spent last episode within the Oathbound Sanctuary and Astrologer's Tower, learning a lot more about what has transpired. The primary occupant of this tower, Harper, was aided in removing a ghostly memory from a cursed weapon. She provided the group with what she could without judgment for their involvement in the ritual and helped to guide them to a safer path north, knowing that a blockade was being constructed by the consulate. Flaherty accepted a blessing from the complication, an enigm enigmatic entity who revels in the suffering of others. And as a reminder, if Flaherty receives an injury, she's gonna conjure some horrible monsters. As yeah. a reminder for everyone who may have forgotten, Gilliard has left the group and was replaced by Timmy Tulip, a blood-obsessed lunatic. Killfuck died during the creatures. Uh, uh, bleh, bleh. Killfuck died fighting the creatures which crawl from the giant flesh mass meteor. Uh, in his place, Helmut Van Proctor has joined the group, a double shield wielding soldier with a death wish. Uh, we've had a couple almost of characters. Huh? He almost got it too. Almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> he almost got it. Uh, as a note for characters dying, where we currently are in the campaign, if you have a character that dies at this point, it is possible that you may not be able to create a replacement for a few episodes or until a new campaign begins. This advisory 
may change in the future All depending how things good. go. Oh, I'm dead. But basically, oh, if a character, dead. It, if a character dies now, events may escalate, which lead to a conclusion of the campaign. Bringing in a new character very shortly before that conclusion would not be ideal. So I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go. This is not set in stone, but that's a warning because it would feel like shit if I told you afterwards. Word. Um, what? Here, we return to where the group had left off precisely last time, having just defeated a group of bandits who were set to burn a mutant alive, claiming oh, yeah. that the mutant was the reason for the fleshy meteor, but the group would not stand for it and needed to take credit. <laughs> uh, they gathered a small fortune from those who were slain, but expended nearly just as much in healing to win the battle. Helmut Van Proctor suffered the worst of it. Seeking his death wish, he drew the attention of most combatants and suffered an injury for it. Where he was not defeated, he has perhaps been humbled. With a few more experienced adventurers around him, he knows they will have to grow in strength quickly to defend them more effectively. I'm going to give Helmut Van Proctor four choices in specializing his ability to block that you can choose from. And also, I have to remind you that you were the one by the party granted the Dream Shard, which would let you... Uh, modify any one ability right. of yours which you right. uh, did not select. Forgot. <laughs> um, Oops. Okay. Uh, so here are four choices for you that are based around block. Um, and also mm -hmm. there has been a significant though minor rework to how armor works mm -hmm. that I want to go over really quickly while you're reading those. Sure. Um, previously, armor is basically temporary health and it's still right. functionally... Mm -hmm basically That's that so but temporary armor here's the important armor does not regenerate automatically at the start of turns but temporary armor will refill your maximum armor first so it won't be temporary anything that goes over the maximum amount of armor will be temporary and removed at the beginning of the next turn but it is not automatically refill and as an adjustment based on that i gave several of your characters more armor than they had before okay not me <laughs> Uh, you got like plus two. The, oh wait, I did actually. I'm six out of eight. Hold up. Ooh, these are really good. Oh yeah, your your armor has eight now. The uh, the tooltip just says six. Okay. Oh. Um, as additional reminders, because it has been a while while he is deciding on his block stuff. Uh, Chuck, you also had a communicating book that you received. Just want to make sure. If you were going to use it or hey, anyone did this was skill get to... changed? What skill? The sanity shield. Uh, no. How do you think it was changed? I don't know. I'm just asking. It says apply one sanity shield. Okay. But that changes yeah. with the with the occult it skills with it. Yeah. Okay. So does that does that mean it's just one sanity damage or what is one sanity shield? It's on them the whole time, right? Uh, I'm putting it in chat. Okay, thank you. It All is right, one you. sanity shield. When you hit them one time, the damage will go to sanity instead of health. Oh, okay. So what we were talking about is you, someone could use a big like hammer attack to do a yep. bunch of sanity damage based on your sanity shield. Nice. Yeah, if we ever fight something with like 10 sanity and like 500 HP. I remember. You fucking nuke his ass. Mm -hmm. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, the way the way status effects work is it does if it's bleed four it would be leave four and then three and then two and then one correct bleed specifically has to be triggered uh, oh, Timmy okay. Tulip has a lot of uh, bleed synergy what about burn does burn work that way then burn is would be one d four damage every turn and poison okay. would be four damage then two damage then zero damage it okay. goes down by two got it okay ailment block sounds really good I think. Um, that seems really, really good. Um, but also blocking and then recovering four HP sounds really good. Um, I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do block recovery. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. I'm gonna try that. We'll see how it goes. Um,. So before we move forward, also you have the Dream Shard to modify one ability. Okay. If um, anyone else has any other questions about where we left off or anything that needs to 
be done before you continue continue traveling. No. Uh, no. Mm -mm. Can I modify guard? Yeah. How so? Can I just have it make give me more armor? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but then in compensation, I would remove something like the Relentless. Oh, okay. Mo most of, like, if you're looking for a straight-up stat upgrade, then it would be uh, some form of compensation, like either taking two sure. actions or... Right, right. Okay. Um... I don't know what is good here. When, when you say modify, what's, like... What, like, is the option... Like, what are the options I can do? Uh, you could add any of those keywords to it. You could really mm. do anything. I don't have any like straightforward choices. We can move forward if you want to think about it throughout the session. Yeah, like if you wanted guard yeah. to heal you, like I, I could work that in somehow. Sure. Mm. Let's uh, let's just That's keep going so um, and I'll think about it. There you go. Okay. Don't die before uh, you get to use it. Okay. Fingers crossed. Uh, and again, what I was saying, anyone else want to catch up with anything, any role play, or we can continue traveling? <clears throat> so then uh, the mutant ran off, right, after we freed them? The mutant ran uh, off to the northeast, up that way. Did we tell them where to go? We told them to go to the wall, right? You did not. No, I think they just oh. ran. They, they kind of just ran, and you guys, I can't remember if you like said anything of value to them at all. I think that, uh, did Timmy not take its blood? I did. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He, he got some low value mutant blood. Yep, so that's, mm -hmm. we'll see what happens with that. Uh, no, I'm good. I mean, should <clears throat> we, I mean, we can't really stop and rest because we're kind of running away from the horde right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's scary. Can we, can I, you can't eat this lunch in combat, right? I'm going to eat my lunch. Eat your lunch. Seems like we were left. Eats lunch. Mmm. Mmm. All right. That's, mm. that's a good lunch. Was that a tuna sandwich? Mm. I think this used to be roast beef. <laughs> I've had it for two months, I think. <laughs> It, it feels like two months. I think it's actually been like three days at most. So you had roast beef? Or tuna. Yeah. Uh, all right. We're going to do some random encounters as you go about your way. And I got one guide before the stream, and I added one based on what they said, and I hope it's that one. You got one Hopefully. guide? I got one guide. <clears throat> you got James. Oh. Is that the name of one the one guy in Twitch chat? James. You didn't see Viviana get Jamesed? James chat James Chatter. Man, oh, she yeah. got one guy in hard. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, got James. Fuck, fucking Blair, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking James. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, James. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm preparing okay. the situation. That's the same of the guy from Jersey Shore. Yeah, that guy was like 40. I'm, I'm from Jersey. I'm Wait, basically from, the same. You're from Joyzy? Do you know Mike? I'm from Joyzy. You ever get a spray I, tan? Oh, yeah, I know Mike. Spray tan, no. Right, you know Snooky? From Jersey, bro. The only thing that I know, like that I could say I participated in New Jersey is that my family thought they were Italian and were not. You ever go to that one uh place that they went to and it's always sunny? The one where they do the meth? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The, it was like a fucking amusement boardwalk or some shit. Oh yeah, that's the shore that they went to. Was yeah, it the, that, yeah, that yeah. shit got destroyed. Yeah, that, that was the that was the no! <laughs> no! But yeah, you want to go under the boardwalk. Yep. For that. Yep, that's Love what that they did. Episode, Two dude. homeless guys Holy were shit. fucking. <laughs> that's one of the. <laughs> I think that's one of the funniest. That's one of the hardest I've ever laughed. People, uh, people, people talk about the rum ham shit, man. But yeah, honestly, yeah. it's fucking Dennis and his sister, and like what they end up doing. Yeah. That whole episode's way fucking funnier to me. That whole episode is so good. 
Oh yeah, it was PCP, not meth. <laughs> Why do people want to be Italian? <laughs> uh, because the Sopranos came out and like I don't know, it's yeah. like a whole like Jersey yeah, but thing, the boardwalk. But they're like, oh, my sucked. Dad, my dad did that shit too, man. He loved the Sopranos, dog. <laughs> yeah. He was de he was definitely trying. He got he got some white tank tops. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like no. the white beaters. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Did they watch yeah. the show? There was all everyone's oh, life yeah. sucked in the Sopranos. <laughs> Yeah, but they had a cool that, house. He, he got an Italian yeah. fucking tattoo. He doesn't speak a word of it. It's like <laughs> when you get a Japanese character. Uh, <laughs> he's a, dude, he's an Italibu, man. <laughs> exactly. Did it say like supermarket in Italian or something like that? <laughs> Didn't know it. It's just like, that uh, sounds it, cool. I it believe it pizza. said La yeah. Familia uh, and like an appropriate uh, uh, pretending to be Italian. He didn't give a shit about him. <laughs> um. Classic. Look who's, look who's you, podcasting now, Stir. Pizza you boo. Can, I'm ready. <laughs> look you who's podcasting now. <laughs> through the forest in the exciting world of the myriad. And you notice a strange stone statue embedded into the ground. The statue is a figure wrapped in elegant robes and carved with incredible detail. The face is a horn skull hooded by flowing stone. It has eight arms, the elbows extended outward forming a halo around the main body and the forearms are reaching forward with hands poised to grab whatever it is in front of the statue oh. because beneath those extended arms a brass offering dish sits below the sinister form surrounded by the many unlit candles near the figure the base of the statue has a brass offering dish currently occupied by some slimy blobs you can't identify properly without closer inspection would anyone like to approach and investigate this further? Eat them. Yeah. Eat those, Moon. Eat those blobs. First, Dick will hobble up to the offering pan, <clears throat> and he will attempt to inspect one of the blobs. I will throw this on here, just so we can pretend real quick. Okay. Uh, that's the statue. The statue. Wow, that's a nice uh, statue. Can you make me an awareness check? I'm I'm not good at that. <laughs> not good. Uh, double checking. <sighs> you notice anything, Dickar? You look down to investigate the blobs and your high awareness makes you, uh, you are alert to the fact there's some writing underneath it, which you appropriately look away from before it is able to grab your mind. If you're a little bit less aware, you might've accidentally been reading this occult knowledge, which again, you know, would be bad. Uh, but you're able to inspect the red blobs and it's sort of like uh, cuts of flesh, little small pustules of blood. Ew. Wait, mate. What is it? Is it fucking writing on this pen, mate? Any, any readers mm, want to come over here and that's fucking so long. Sure. read it? Yeah, I can read. You know, how, you know how we's using the complication, mate. Don't tell anyone though. Yeah, I won't, mate. Can you read? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you roll literacy? I yes. suppose, uh, actually, you know what? Don't worry about it. No, I can roll it. Okay. <laughs> you sure you wanted to roll it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> At least it's accurate. This is my self-insert. Uh, <laughs> oof! Um, so long. My brain! A thumping pulse penetrates into your mind. I've been the penetrated. The rhythmic ticking of the cosmos. Your thoughts, your eyes, your consciousness, a feeling that you're being pulled forward into the object. And all you hear through your mind, reading this information, is telling you inside your head, if you place the heads of your allies upon the altar, you shall want for nothing. Hmm. Oh. It's a tie, Chuckar. Well, it wants me to do something. It's, what do you want you to do? Well, it says... Well, look, look, uh, a little dance or something? It essentially says all my hopes and dreams will come true if we put Flaherty's head on this... Uh, Flaherty, can you just pop your head off real quick? Oh, sure. Just throw it on the uh, altar. Too. 
pop our head off and just place on the other. All right. Uh-oh. Great. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was I, okay. All right. Huh, from, and from the head on the altar, Flash say, what now? I don't know. <laughs> that's all it said to do. Um, I'll Wait, have to he... think about that one real quick. <laughs> oh, you thought I was going to kill him. Power gamed. No, I... No, hold on. Where's Flaherty? <laughs> hey, hey guys, this is Stir. By the way, uh, if anyone dies right now, you guys <laughs> might want... <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll put my head on the altar. All right, do it. Cool. No, no questions asked. Are you sure it was my head? It said just put someone's head in the bowl, and I figured it'd be easiest to get your head off. I think that means kill him. Dick looks down. Shrugs. Kill fuck's head dangling from his belt. Uh, did his you dick. keep his head? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Flatsy will, I forgot uh, about if that. Nothing, if nothing's happening, here, <laughs> Fla- Flatsy will uh, pick up her head. Yeah, I forgot I all think about something's that. Something's happening. I think he's just. <laughs> yeah, something, he is already. something happening? <laughs> it's too late now. I'm pretty sure fucker. he's parsing what should happen. Yeah, yeah, I'm, it's I'm, I'm doing quite a bit of parsing because I didn't consider there was a Dullahan and someone actually who could put their head on it, <laughs> and and the lack of information that you have about it. Well, mull it over. <laughs> I really hate Kunk on Earth, and it's been a week, and I cannot get past it. I hate that. Sh- oh, that's terrible. Anyone can get a show on Netflix, huh? <laughs> we should just we should just put this shit on Netflix. Yeah, true. They'd buy it. You know, um, what was it? Wednesday has like a hundred times more views than anything that's ever been on Netflix. It's a good show. We, uh, w- Okay, I, I haven't seen it, but I haven't heard anything good about it. You're actually the first person to say something good about it. Why? It's a good show. Oh, but I'm surprised at how many people have seen it, and I never hear anyone talk about it. I like What's it. it? People, are, people are locked on. People are stun locked on the dad being uh, not like he is in the rest of the shows, but I think it's a good show. What, Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, nice. What's wrong with it? It's, I mean, it's a good show. I, I haven't seen it. It's, seen it's it. no The Sopranos. It didn't turn a generation of dads Italian, but I mean, it's a good show. <laughs> <laughs> is it gonna is it gonna turn a generation of people into uh, who's plays the dad in that? It, I think it will turn a generation of kids into goths. Probably. Yeah, they're, they're they're gonna return to the mecca of goths. Yep. Hot topic. I, hot to- the invest mall. in hot topic, baby. <laughs> Recession Yo, I, proof. I, I'm already invested, dude. Let's go. <laughs> go I hope it go. turns the generation of dads into Luis Guzman. That would be way better. Maybe it might. But people, that's the dad, right? Yeah, that's the. People, dad see, people don't like him. People don't like how what they did I with mean, them in the show. I don't know. That's what he looks like in the fucking comic, in the Adam Silly comic. That's what he looks like. Hey man, I, I got I got no horse. In the, I, I, I in like the manga, it. in okay. the Adam Silly manga, that's what he looks like. <laughs> yep. And Wednesday she had a run. <laughs> you don't want to know what they did to her. Yeah. Whole tentacle monster, all that. This is terrible. Yeah, oof. Mm. Wait, what? <laughs> she was the tentacle monster. Yeah. That was what Wednesday was in the manga. For now, Wait, it's like Scylla. Sorry, go on. All right, Flaherty, we... Flaherty placed her her Dullahan head on the top of the altar, which had spoken into Chuck's mind, telling him to place the heads of his allies on the altar, and he would want for nothing. Yeah, she feels uneasy doing it. Something is strange, though she can't make uh, sense of exactly the pulses and the thoughts and the voices that she's hearing while her head's on the altar. For now, all you're going to experience is an unfortunate minus 25% max HP. Wow. There will be additional <coughs> situations later. Hey! All right. <laughs> <laughs> we won, guys. We made stir. Chuck, this better be worth it. I feel like shit. I don't know if it will be. <laughs> I think we'll pick our head back up. All right. I mean, it, it, I don't know. Well, do you want you for anything from the statue? Look, man, I'm just telling you what the statue told me to do. Well, what do you want right now? Mm. Mm. What do I want? That's so long. Hey. Let me just think. Uh, you know, a new spell. 
<laughs> well, then it didn't bloody work, did it? Oh, yeah, I guess it did not. You're supposed to want for nothing. I thought that the, <laughs> I thought the statue would turn into a portal and we'd go talk to God again. <laughs> You're supposed to want for nothing. Well, why yeah, would mate. I do that if I want nothing? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Gosh, dude, what? <laughs> mate, you, you think I should put Kill Folks head on there, mate? Nah. <laughs> Don't be mean to poor Kill Fox. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it, mate. He's yeah, fucking dead. Do he wouldn't want that. Yeah, he's, he's, I don't give a shit. Dead, what he kill right? Fox, no. We he's can still dead. bring him back. We can still bring him back. We tried, mate. We tried cutting his fucking head off. It didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> we tried. We tried everything, and we're all out of ideas. What if we can? That was it. What if we can still bring him back? Yeah, mate, maybe. And then he puts the head on the fucking. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, so that was it. Twenty-five percent or twenty-five health. 25%. Okay. Which is a multiplier on future uh, additions to HP. Actually, let me double check your health because something does seem a little off that I. Want I to definitely sure. lost like 25 flat health. Yummy. I... It's in a, a hot 10 right now. <laughs> oh, God. Hold on. You, got, you guys are like fucking around and finding out. At an exponential rate. <laughs> you, t but you, but you said, all right, she can take her head off. I mean, uh, that is crazy. Sense to me. It's crazy that you designed a map that was just completely barren except one statue and thought we wouldn't fuck around. <laughs> I, I designed a bunch of random encounters and didn't know which ones would come up. You make the puzzle, put a head in this. Flirty can take her head off. I mean, come on, man. I don't know. I don't think it's a puzzle when it says kill your friends. <laughs> it doesn't say kill. It literally said, put the heads of your friends. Okay, yeah, and I'm a Dullahead, yeah, man. It checks out. Head off without... That doesn't check out at all. Okay, if this was an escape room, a secret door would have opened there. That's all I'm saying. Right. 100%. Right. Go, doo -doo 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 -doo. That is the most obvious solution. You solved the puzzle. Who would have thought? Wait, how did my health go down to a seven now? What have you done? He's Oof. working on it. He's working on it. Wait, why did it go? You, oh. you put me down to you put me down to ten, and then you took twenty five percent of the ten away, so I went down to seven. Bro, you're at like Get negative seventy five percent right now. There you go. That's what there it should go. be. Nice. Twenty. Okay. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> that's not great. Okay. Um. Dick, I totally forgot also that you had a decapitated head of your See? companion on your waistband. Well, we're getting to the part of the campaign where you guys have a whole bunch of fucked up shit. <laughs> and you, you'll just do whatever. Yeah, mate. <laughs> I still got this thing that I can send someone a message. I'm, I'm keeping that. That's, that's going to be like my nuke button. Okay, give me like one minute to take a walk and I'll be right back. We <laughs> walk? Yeah, I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna get some yeah, water. Yeah. We won! Uh, we, we did it! We won! We did it! We won, did guys. Did we win, Myriad? Yeah, we did it. it. Stir doesn't yeah. know what to do. We oh, stun yeah. We stun locked him. He doesn't know what to do. All we right. stun locked him. Somebody has to take a lap. Bro. Yeah, we beat Myriad. I don't care what happens. We won, guys. Congratulations. He's checking his closet for the deep notes. I asked in my chat, is this how you win D&D? &D? You just, the DM just doesn't know what to do? This is how you win, right? Yeah. I yeah? Think that's, yeah, I think so. Huge. All right. Good for us, man. You know, there were times where I wasn't too sure, but we really did it. <laughs> I'm going to put something in the microwave. What you going to put in the microwave? A factor. Factor? Yeah, you got it. You got back. a reference code. Wait, what'd you say? You got a reference code? Uh, I already did my promo. I don't like Factor. I like Fator. That's what I eat. Uh, the fuck that is. I like that. It's good. It's also called Hungry Man. He left. <laughs> there he goes. I'm okay, I'm right back. Now. Oh, okay. Wow, that was, well, that was Everyone, uh, Sure Four and, and Moon are still gone. Okay, more time to think. There you go. Did you really not think we were going to be this dumb? Yeah, we had two heads that we could easily... <laughs> I, I, I have a whole bunch of different prepared encounters. This one was prepared a while ago. I didn't really give it any thought. I was like, I'm just going to give them encounters. Thank God we decapitated and, and Gilliard. Then, uh, you, you took it pretty literally. Or kill Which fuck, also... I mean. 
You didn't. You didn't. Well, I don't know. I always go with uh, the sim. You know, sim the the correct answer is you know usually the simplest, obvious. That's Occam's razor, right? Is that what that means? Yep. Yes. There you go. The simple, the simplest explanation is most often the correct. I that, I live my life by that. True. And look where that got me. Here we are. <laughs> so Octo, you doing anything good? No, everything I do is bad. Okay. How well, about you, man? I'm on vacation right now. Hell yeah. Unlike How's stripping, though. So far? Uh, well, you know, I just I come here and I stream while everyone else has fun. That's not really a vacation, then, is it? Well, you know. No, it's not. So get fucked. <laughs> I'm taking an extra You're day off penta. tomorrow. Okay. What? Yes, stripping. Get fucked, man. You're not actually on vacation. Uh, Whoa, there's a lot of hostility here for somebody on vacation. vacation. This guy's on vacation. Give him a break here. Away. Listen, He's man. Not on vacation. I'm not... Maybe he was on vacation, he would have stepped away from his desk, you know? <laughs> I'm not. I am. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not home. Where, where Listen, you at? Stripping, right he's here not for home. us right now. <laughs> where not, you at right now? I'm not home. Huh? Not home. Just say it, man. Come no. On. Where you at? I'm not home. That means he's, he's home. at home. He's at home. home. He's home. 100% home. I'm not, I'm not home. You can tell by my bit rate. <laughs> no, Wait, we really? can't. That's, bit the, rate? that's the funny part. You can't. It's... Right now, 3,500. Well, it's like 4K right now. That's not bad. That's pretty yeah, good. Okay. Okay. So you get kidnapped? I'm taking tomorrow off, so let's come. No, I didn't get kidnapped. My mom always said that Are she doesn't sure? have to worry about anyone kidnapping me because they'd just bring me back. They get sick of you. And then she Dude, laugh. that's what my mom used to say to me. Dude. Yeah. And then she'd be like, oh, makers. I guess so. I said, I used to say I'd run away, and she goes, when? No one wants you. <laughs> Damn. 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 What the fuck? And you were she like, you on a platter. I just came back. Yeah, and she was right. I, I used to sit under the bridge for like an hour and then just come home. Oh, like Kurt Cobain. Damn, she really didn't look for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and where's your mom now? Doing some queen shit, I don't know. Oh, well. The queen? Not that, that queen. That queen. Oh. Yeah, she's gone. They, You guys get a new one yet? How's that work? Do you guys vote or? We have a king, but he's, he, oh, he that's doesn't right. look good, man. He, he gonna die soon, I think. He's looking rough. Is he huh? not doing, he's not doing so hot? It looks like a My, ghoul. Yeah. <laughs> right he's, pretty quite, he's pretty ghoulish. Yeah, he's not aging well. The once in future ghoul. <clears throat> he also like he became king, and the first thing he did was like, "We're gonna make some changes around here," and nobody likes that. Not one fucking person. So he's I remember. Like, Does he have the authority to actually do that? I'm here, by the way, if you guys are waiting. He for can. Me. He can do some shit. Yeah. He can. He can change okay. royal procedure. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. They, okay. they they can do some shit. Everyone's just fucking mad at him. Is that like being? Is that like saying, "Oh, we're gonna wear red instead of blue to the pep rally now." Is that, One is thing that he like did do that was based was like he accidentally hot mic'd uh, the like premium. our prime minister went to see him, and uh, he accidentally hot mic'd like off oh, a fuck's sake not again like <laughs> and it, like oh, got picked up sake. that just, rules like, roast it. just like roast nah that's it great I love that accident whoops my mic <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so it is that Dick would place the head of Killfuck upon the spooky altar they say found his, in the middle of name. the woods. Kill fuck soul shitter. Thank you. Put some damn respect on it. Yeah, put, put some respect on kill fuck. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there is his, no. his little head. Yeah, there's his head. The there platter. it is. Yeah. His head was <laughs> his bigger kill than that. Fuck. You put the stub of his neck on there where you had cut his head off and tried to turn him into a Dullahan in the moments where he had passed. His lifeless head lays upon the plate for a brief moment. Are his glasses moment. still on? Did you like kind of like attach the glasses to his <laughs> yeah. head? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He's still got ears. <laughs> Staple him on there. After a he's, brief he's moment, then. Heavily his... rotted by now. Yeah. It's been about two days. He's so decomposing. He's starting to. Uh, a little a little bit rigor mortis, a little bit tight. He wriggles his nose upon the plate. 
correcting his glasses, which lie a little bit sloppily on his the ridge of his nose, <laughs> looks up at the party <laughs> with bloodshot eyes and says, Oh, uh, <laughs> no, I'm trying to kill Perfect. Good. That, yeah, it just, it's just uh, me, but lower. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, oh, hey, hey, guys. What, what, what's going on? Kill fuck. Hey, you You're died, back, man. Mate. You died. Mate, we, we, we tried to make you a duel ahead, bro. If it didn't work. Oh. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, that shit happens. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, I kept your head, mate, because I really, uh, you know, you know how bodies get when they decay and whatnot. I wanted to sleep with you and then. Oh, well, that's reasonable. Hey, what's death like, man? <laughs> yeah, mate. Um, I don't know. I can't really remember or anything. Oh, shit. You can't, you can't re <laughs> you, you know, go when you sleep. You know, you, you know where you're at, mate. No, uh, the last thing I remember is Chuck staying asleep while we were attacked by demons. <laughs> and, I, and that, and I saved the day. <laughs> yeah, mate, we lived, bro. We lived. We had to. It was a lot of them, mate. Yeah. Honestly, it was kind of close. A couple of you lived. Well, I'm glad to see you're all still doing well. And I begged the monsters <laughs> not to attack you, but they just did. Oh well, <laughs> what are we? Let's you got, get you the got, gang you... back together. What are we doing now? Uh, well, it, you got you ain't got a body, mate. They ain't ate body. it. <laughs> they, they ate your body. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you are getting oh. a little Obama, but it's good. Where's the wind check? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the wind check? Cut your head off. Oi, mate. Listen, you got anything you need done in the old mortal coil, bro? Uh, well, <laughs> now I have Obama on the brain. <laughs> well, oh, my body's well, doing uh, a little bit, uh, unfortunately. Uh, my <laughs> body's a little bit rigid. Uh, it's hard to talk without a uh, throat. <laughs> wow. Mate, you know, honestly, uh, I feel like we should, uh, you know, tell you what's going on here, mate. So essentially, we's running from the flesh ball, remember? Uh, and, you know, we 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 found this statue behind you, mate, if you can roll your head back and take a, take a gander <laughs> at it. It's uh, you can you think he can move. Uh, Dick, like, yeah, turn, you might turn his head bite a little bit. So yeah. Hel Helmet will walk up and kind of like grab him by the top of the head and like rotate him 180 degrees. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so we found this horrifying looking statue in the woods. Oh, he'll kind of he'll turn him around and then tilt him up a little. <laughs> we, we, we found it in the woods as we was running and, you know, uh, read it. It's got a little inscription on the pan down there. I can't read, I'm illiterate, but one of us did. Chalk. And, uh, said to put your head in, man. It said, yeah, "Put the put the put the head of your ally on it, and you will want for nothing." So I figured, you know, you're dead already. Hey, but we put my head on, and I just feel like shit. Yeah, you're the, not dead, yo. It's hard for him to feel worse than he already is. Who yeah, said he... I need to be dead? I, that's what I assume. It doesn't say anything. It just says you'll work for nothing. Want? Do you said want? Oh you yeah, one of them, man. Not. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I figured, you know, you're a good guy, mate. And if this. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh. Who's this fucker? Oh, that's Helmet. Uh, that's that's Helmet. your replacement. Oh. Yeah, good eye. Uh, name's Helmet. <laughs> yeah. You, got, you guys moved on that quickly. Uh, mate, well, what do you want us to do? You were dead. We're running from a fucking horde of flesh wait, how long monsters, ago, mate. How long ago did you mate die? Uh, a couple of days, mate. Two days or so? You did move on rather quick. It, mate, we, it's not, it was chance. You was in the fucking tower of the lady that true. took yeah. the sext. That's true. Mate. We weren't looking for it. It just happened. Yeah. Mm, yeah Listen, well, I'm, I'm mm. sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, mate. Oh, it's all right. We can, uh, we can put all this behind us, um, I, I guess. Uh, you know, what was your name again? Uh, Killfuck Solshitter. Uh, uh, Killer. Soul Shitter well, family. sorry about that, Killer. <laughs> Kilo. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my nickname. But um, I guess if you can bring me along, I'll help in any way I can. Oh, Wait, no, you... <laughs> got a okay. said, How come that Ulta made you more lively and me feel worse? Because he was dead and you're uh, not dead. I suppose well, maybe he was trying to make you dead. I'm just built different. <laughs> All right, mate. Uh, so uh, I oh, wanna... formally built different. Yeah, just ahead now. I'm gonna put you on me belt, mate. Um, oh. okay. I 
Feel free to chime in if I encounter oh, oh, any puzzles hold on, hold or anything. On. Like, <laughs> are we oh. still uh, like, what's the mission? Uh, we we's looking for a radium mic, bro. We think ah. Regan Mike's a bit of a fucker, and uh, he's up to no good, so... Yeah, we gotta interrogate his ass, mate. Oh, wait, I thought that uh, you were in love. Yeah, well, you know, I'm starting to realize that maybe he wanted me to die and everyone else. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, with with a with a swift batting of his eyelashes and maybe a shake of his supple oh, rump, I could be come convinced on, otherwise. Come bro. on there, dick. Can't you forgive him? <sighs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm willing... Look, we's gonna do an interrogation, That's mate. You know so what happens, long. happens. If he if he's convincing enough, maybe you I'm know. Not gonna let, yeah, I'm not gonna let you interrogate him alone. We're gonna yeah. let Timmy go Obviously. at him for five minutes. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, so that guy will really give him the work over. Dick yeah. Dick grabs Killfuck's head and then we'll reattach him to his belt. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> this is fun. Okay. We okay. have added Killfuck to the party. <laughs> All right. Again. <laughs> Any, anyone else want to go? <laughs> no, man. I'm, I ain't putting me head on there after what Flounge you said, bruv. Also, kill me, mate. Or what if we cut your head off? sit on there. You could sit on I, it. I ain't ready to die, mate. I'm a virgin. What? Are you not? Uh, so you're going to have sex it's, before you actually die? Actually, surprise yeah. it. Well, shall we? Continue... Okay. Wherever the fuck we're uh, north, I think. Where, where, yep. Where are we heading? Where, where are we going? I think north. Okay. Mate, we, we gotta get to that wall so we can climb the ladder, mate. Get the hell okay. out of here, bro. All right. Well, we're going oh. away from the joint flesh ball. Also, remember, bro, we gotta we gotta avoid the consulate. Remember? I forget yep. why exactly. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Cause we did this. Remember? Oh yeah, they, they's gonna fucking interrogate us with the, the truth magic and yeah, whatnot, and yeah. then find out that <laughs> because we did this, remember? <laughs> oh yeah, oh. Your car deserves yeah, it. Yeah, remember, we, 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 we did didn't this. do anything. Empowered well, the fucking world. We didn't do it, but we yeah, didn't. You didn't, but now you're an accomplice. So you kind of did. We didn't. Sir, not, do you, we didn't stop it. Do you want me to do kill flight? Well, I thank can, you for the uh, you to five gifted subs. Both. Appreciate you. Thank uh, you. You can so do nice. Killfuck and DD or relevant Ooh. moments. I will send you messages on Discord. Okay. If something Sweet. Is, is changed. If you want right. to like continue talking, I, yeah. I probably I mean, should have offered I, to begin I, with, but I was thinking I, many things. I can be the I can do the peanut gallery. I'll nice. No right. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Killfuck help. <laughs> How do I solve this puzzle, please? <laughs> oh well, let me think. Hmm. I'm stroking my face now, but I don't have any hands to do it, so just imagine that I'm doing that. Nice. Dick strokes his face. Stroke this. <laughs> can you uh, can you feel your face? Uh, well, um... Slap it, him. It's sort of... Imagine if you were, uh... <laughs> it's sort of like if you... Uh, you ever had your arm fall asleep before? Yeah. Yeah, it's that, but your whole body. You just can't feel it. You can feel your head, though. You know, if you sit on your hand and then start stroking your shit. Yeah, it's a stranger, I know. I'm aware. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get well, out of here. Um, okay. <laughs> Onward, I guess. The sweet embrace of death couldn't hold me. Cool. This guy's got a cheery disposition. <laughs> yeah, hey, mate, he was, you... he was always a positive guy, mate, in life. Hmm. You know, like your party could use that. I was surprised when he said, who's this fucker? Because he's normally quite nice to strangers. <laughs> no, it was, a, it was a moment. Sorry, I was, I was having a moment. You just you wake up, you know, when you wake up and you're cranky and sorry. That was hard. And hard. Yeah, no problem, mate. It's not a, not a big deal. <laughs> I have rolled an additional encounter for you guys. You notice a small opening to a cave as you continue wandering north. Uh, you are sure that it's probably in only one room to a cave. It doesn't seem like it would go very far based on the echoes coming from within. The air inside is humid and a thin stream of slimy water trickles out from its opening. Purplish, reddish, uh, trailing in the water. Do you wish to investigate further? Hey, you guys want to go into that cave? <laughs> I mean, I'm down, mate. We've, we've been walking for a while. Yeah, uh, if we get trapped. Hey, perhaps we could just take a wee break or something. Nothing bad has ever happened in a cave. 
nothing ventured, nothing came. That's simply not I like true. the way this guy thinks. Name one yeah, thing. Bad things happen in caves. Name die. one thing. Um, uh, the clams. That was a good thing. We yeah, saved that here, mutant. I thought you were somebody else. Oh, I thought we you saved just wanted that. Me to name we one saved th that mutant. I thought you just wanted me to name one thing. Like, just a thing, anything, Art. No, you know? <laughs> no. Name a bad thing that's happened in the cave. Nothing. Can't think of one. Yep. Nothing bad's ever happened in a cave. <laughs> who's Who's got control of the head? No, <laughs> Dick. Uh, you guys approach <laughs> the entrance to the cave, and as you start to stand in front of it, a strong stench starts to come out of it. Familiar, actually. A Dick, pulsing... Is that you? Coming from within the cave. Mike? <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> Where, where's, uh, where's... Mate. Uh, I think there might be another bomb in there, mate. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, how, bro. How did you go yet? Oh, I just, you know, I fucking mated with it. You know, <laughs> that posting, mate. Is what like fucking... not a version? Well, I mean, mate is in, like, you know, we hung out and rolled... Yeah, but yeah, you know, like a mate. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all right, right. Let's, let's take a quick peek, though, mate, just in case. Where's Where's helmet? I can't I can't see him. Your AOE or whatever isn't showing up for some reason. Yeah. Oh man, the music just changed too. What, you, what music? <laughs> all right, let's do it. Well, hop to it. Hey, I, uh, I can't go, hey I Helmet, can't go why first, don't you man. go first? <laughs> hey, good idea. Oh, hey, Helmet, listen. It's gonna right. it's gonna ask you to, to jump into it. Don't do it, mate. That's me, Job. Uh, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be really nice if I died just, you know, jumping into a smelly cave. Am I supposed to have 14 armor? Yeah. Yeah, because you got that new uh, armor, right? The yeah, it one? says I only have 10, sir. Uh, armor will reset at the beginning of combat. It'll be fine. Okay. Demi is gonna sneak in. Um, sneak, sneak. I can't. I don't have like a like an aura around me. Hold on. I don't. I'm trying to figure out why. Okay. No worries. There you go. Hey. All right. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's for sure. Also. Ew, Can't go up. I'm just standing out there. This water is icky. <laughs> it smells very pungent here. Yeah, I think it's probably another bomb. <laughs> I've never seen a bomb. Ah, before. what are the odds? There'd be two, so close never. to each other. Two bombs? Never. That's crazy yeah, talk. Never <laughs> yeah. seen a smelly bomb. Yep. Hey guys, bomb here. <laughs> what oh is, what my is, god! What is, oh, I knew it. Okay. Who are you? Everybody here is familiar with what exactly this is, except for Helmut von Proctor. <laughs> and another... I'm not familiar. Jimmy's not either. Oh yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy. Timmy Tulip also Jimmy. hasn't seen one of these before, though he is definitely turned on by the blood oozing from it. Mm -hmm. Another familiar intestine wrapped with candles placed all around it. Very hastily copy and paste it before the session because 10 minutes beforehand someone said it would be funny if there was another one okay. <laughs> well, we're thought, well thought out campaign we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna let it blow up again right right i mean do we hey, know we're gonna we... we're gonna burn it well jesus Wait, why, hold on let's why just we, why we, would we burn I, it i vote for let's just leave <laughs> What do you mean? Last time you la the things that from the last one are still and we're still alive. Us. Look what happened to the people that tried to put it out. Some of us well, are alive. Some of us are still alive. Well, <laughs> right. I'll also remind you the previous one when you lit it on fire, it began to escalate and grow quicker. Yeah, that's true. Remember when that happened, well, guys? <laughs> do any of them actually know except Flaherty? Uh, well, Flaherty was the one recommending to burn it, so I'm reminding. Yeah, but no one else would know. Because the only yeah. ones that were there to burn it were... Gil I'm going to be honest, Flaherty. guys. I think we're a little out of our depth here. I say we leave, and if anyone cares, we'll tell guys, them where this I'm is. I'm telling you, that we need to burn it. Mm -mm. I vote for leave. Yeah, mate. I mean, look, it's got the, the fucking candles around it, too. 
you know, maybe we could snuff them out. How do out. you know burning it's going to work? Well, it, it did a pretty good job before it blew most up. Things. What do you mean? Gilliard died. <laughs> or, no, wait. I didn't. It just... Gilliard didn't die. He just left because he hated you. Well, you he, a bunch of people did. Mate, you remember the fucking... The cosmic arm void thing that we fought with the guy who had his throat slit? Yeah. Remember how we fucking took out them candles in the corner of the room? Yeah. And fucking decimated the thing or whatever. See all these fucking candles, man? Is they lit? I can't fucking tell. Are the candles lit? Yes. Yeah, but... Mate, for the fucking candles, mate. Well, hold Spoil on a out. second. Let me offer this. Who cares? <laughs> oh, look, you know, it, who it, cares? Listen, Let's listen, just listen, wait. Mate, <laughs> Chuck, you know, it's all, it's all good and well, mate. But we's walking into a fucking squad... A fuckers that can read all minds and tell exactly what we've done, you know, and we can't dodge them forever, mate. No, we gotta here, here's an idea. If you did blow it up, what's the problem? It's gone. Yeah. Problem solved, right? No, mate, listen. All right. Yeah, I foresee a future in which we are stopped by the consulate and there's, there's like, all right, it's time to get me snake and me fucking truth magic to read your mind, figure out what happened, you know, and they're going to find out what we did. Right. So if we at least come to them with a little, oi, you know, we took one out, failed to take the other one out, mate. Maybe they won't fucking put us on a stake, nail us to it, and burn us to what death. What are you talking bro. about? Yeah. We burned okay. a book with the commander. <laughs> that that <laughs> is a fair point. They're gonna but know all I, of that. We're screwed anyways, man. I I foresee a future where you blow this up and don't have to think about it anymore. Clap clap. That's me <laughs> dusting my hands off, but I don't have hands, so you have to. Imagine I'm let's, let's give, uh, look, I'm all right to leave. I don't really what do you care, think, man. Helmet? You, know, you, should go in, uh, you should go in. Uh, well, you know, uh, if you keep this thing around, I mean, it can't be better than just getting rid of it, right? You should go in shy of it. Mate, hey, look, I'm all right to leave, okay? Yeah. But just help me snuff out the candle. What, what if we no, but there. The only way to be sure is to blow it up. But right? if we, we just leave it. and we get across the wall, not our problem. Guys, what if we all just went inside of it? Oi, Killfuck, what do you think, mate? Uh, well, uh, I think, listen. I'm just going to, <sighs> I'm speaking objectively here as the severed head. I think we should blow it up. If you, if, get rid of it. It's gone, it's done, out of sight, out of mind, right? Mate, uh, the last time it blew up, it fucking, <laughs> it spawned a horde of- But what if monsters. this one doesn't? We'll never know. We only have one sample size. Ick. Well, throw Killfuck in it. I get, my uh, he's me new f companion, man. He'll, he'll disarm it. Mate, I look. I went Come in on. there, mate. I went Come in on. there. It's not gonna work, bro. He's just a head. He's just a head. Well, mate, please. Flashy's gonna start putting the candles out. Yeah, thank oh, you, mate. Oh, you silly little bitch. <laughs> uh, you need some help there. Yeah, look. I, yeah, I, I just want to see, mate. I just want to see. Okay, but if you, but okay, but hear me out. Hear me out. If you did blow it up. The end. <laughs> what if blowing the no. candles out kills you? No. We didn't even blow the last one up, mate. It fucking exploded on its own. Yeah. yeah that was great. Everything worked out, right? I'm alive. No. You're all kill, alive. Kill fuck died, mate. Yeah. Well, yes. he's alive again. Look, no. I'm here. I'm here with you right now. You're talking to you him. You got your, your body, mate. You're just a head. Yeah, well... I well, guess you could say I'm ahead of the game. Hey, you. <laughs> now blow it up. Don't be an ableist. He can still live a perfectly normal life. <laughs> As she, I, I mean, begins <laughs> getting rid of some of the candles and putting the candles out, if we'll remember candles can help with the stability of a ritual. Not, and you begin I'm... to notice the subtle undulations as the bodies and the corpses within the center are getting agitated by the fact that candles are being put out. I'm gonna brace to run. <laughs> but I mean, Flyer, does this look like when, you know, the last time you went down there, mate? I, when well, last time you put the candles out, it did fucking explode, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. What you are put you the doing? Out? Why are you just messing with the bomb? What's wrong with yeah, you, you people? Should, you should keep doing this. <laughs> no, Good idea. Yeah, no, we keep should going. get someone that knows what they're doing. Flaherty's right, Owen. Right, Flaherty right, is mate, Owen one on bomb defusal. Why mate, is she doing this? Mate, listen. All right. 
Let's fucking let's just leave, mate. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So what's wrong with let's you? Let's get out of here, mate. Fuck this, no, mate. No, 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 no. You can't leave a job half done. Go put out the rest of the candles. <laughs> go, go, with my trusty <laughs> Scott. <laughs> okay, yeah. Skillbook, you getting a little manic here, mate? What's going on? No, no, no. What are you talking about? No, no. Just, just I don't think. Just try. I mean, it's you don't know. You don't know until you try, right? You hear you hear Dick and Killfuck echoing as they argue with each other. Uh, as are leaving. we just gonna... Are we leaving? Are we We're staying leaving. here? We're leaving. What are we I'm, doing? I'm following Dick. You guys are crazy, man. Okay. Going in. Uh, lovely place you have here. He, he turns to the flesh pile and says, lovely place you have here. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> as, uh, as Flatsy leaves, she's gonna set on fire. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. I'm gonna, just gonna flame stand the pile and walk away. I'm going in. Oh, you're, okay, you're going on, in. Uh, Timmy's going in. Let's get the order correct. Uh, Timmy has walked in. I've walked out. I'm with Dick. I'm I'm out. I'm gonna set the side he's not in on fire. The DM said that it smelled like beautiful blood. Mm. Yes. And then I'm gonna leave. Uh, how are you setting it on fire? I'm flame sending. Okay, oh, well, can you cast it? it? I did cast it. Weird. Okay. Uh, not how I thought that would go. <laughs> I thought round two. <laughs> Man, we're catching you off your off your game today. I mean, you can do what you want, but I I begged them to leave. This is the first time I've ever had to play two characters. You're doing a good job. Going, it's getting lit on fire. I don't want to get lit on fire. Okay, let me get. Oh, where's the fire? I'm, le I'm, wait, I'm leaving after I flame. Oh yeah, aren't these the same I'm two people that stayed behind? <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh yeah, someone just brought that up. That's that's true. Flaherty. I'm seeing some patterns in playstyles. <laughs> puts her Dullahan head forward. What do you mean? Flame explodes outside of her mouth. The flesh pile begins undulating even quicker now, reaching towards the edge trying to grab at the intestine, which confines the mass of flesh. Timmy yep. Tulip, what are you doing? Well, it's on fire now. I don't want to burn alive. Get in there. I, I, I was going to go in. I was going to go in that. The fire is barely spreading as it's a giant, bloody, <clears throat> moist, humid flesh mass. It's not like dry. Yeah, I tinder. assume it's going to be fucking screaming is, at this point. It is, just, <laughs> it is just in a fire to piss it off. And yeah, any of the mouths that are in there would be just burning in, in agony as they Take all try fucker. and expedite the ritual. Okay, does the blood look moist? When the yeah. blood is moist? Yeah, the blood is moist. Yep. Get moist. in there, little sick boy. Sicko. For the cause. I love it. blood. Flaherty, are you leaving after you did that? I'm even watching sprint. Timmy yeah. Tulip uh, doing whatever the fuck he's doing. Yeah, I'm getting the fuck out, dude. I've, I've witnessed this one. I set, on, I set the last one on fire and it blew up in my face. I'm leaving. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, guys. Wrangler Slander. Okay, Timmy Boys. Tulip, you are Thanks licking for the, five. the flesh mass. Yeah. And you're trying to drink as Appreciate much blood as you, you can. Yeah, roll around in it. Thank you, Moist. For five more. Yikes, champ. Thank you. Okay, see like you over there. No, how is this? I feel, I feel how you. Is this like Timmy all day? Even all day? Timmy, how does no one expect for this not to happen? Yeah, I mean it makes sense. That's kind of your whole thing. Oh wait, hold on. Hold, oh, oh, oh. Can I take another walk? Yeah, I gotta yeah. use the bathroom. Go <laughs> wait a second. Dude, we got him twice in one session. Holy shit. This is technically three wait, times. Wait, three times? Yeah, three times. So, I know what needs to happen. I'm just... <laughs> I don't care if he said no more new characters. I'm playing my character the way he would play without using OC knowledge. That's Fair. valid, King. Everyone just left the cave. No one tried to reel him back. Of course he's just gonna go in. 
Well, uh, we told you to leave, and then I, I fucking set on fire. Has, has, has people, has someone it's telling people wrong. to stop ever stop this party from doing anything? No, no never, which is why much. we're letting you do your thing, man. Because if we said don't do that, you would ignore us. Yeah, that's why no one reeled me back. They were like, no, come on, you're coming with us. And manhandled them. You guys just from the, walked I'll out. I'll yell from the mouth of the cave. <laughs> Timmy, what good. the fuck are you doing? I'm waiting for a moon to get back. I'm back. I hate this. Okay. I hate You're this. pent up. Damn, oh. You're still in there. <laughs> all, all I said was that I'm back. I didn't, I didn't hear what you said. I just I'm was letting you know. Uh, okay, here is uh, what happened. Timmy, come on, you <clears throat> prick. It's far too late. The flesh pile is agitated by fire, oh. as was done once before in the past. Yep. And the conclusion... Of Little what Timmy, is to thank come you for the ten is all subs. All too familiar for everyone oh. except for Timmy Tulip and, and Helmut. Helmut. <laughs> He's just even Killfuck knows what's going on, and he is only ahead. However, this time things are exponentially worse, as oh, Timmy Tulip has ingested part of the flesh mass in the ritual, and as we know, when the ritual mm. completes, it implodes. Yep. Timmy Tulip lives his last moments of life. Oh my god. Enjoying the most delicious Timmy! divine blood he died from the he progenitor lived. that he has ever tasted. His true purpose in life comes to fruition. And with the rest of the corpse pile, he explodes. Well, that's kind of nice. Least. At least he died doing what he loves. Yeah. Great. Good job, everyone. Well done. Clap, 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 clap. Slow clap. I'm, I don't have hands, so I have to say it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How soon does it explode? Uh, given the fire, very, very, very shortly afterwards. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are we far enough outside of the cave that no, we just like... No, we're not. We're dead. <laughs> um, I am currently deciding where the meteor should go. Oh, wonderful. Why didn't we three. just leave? Wait, I got plus 50 fate, though. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you'll make a, a glorious body in the flesh pile. Mm. Uh, see, the that's original so flesh uh, meteor was designed to land on top of the Aegis Order castle. I was thinking for funsies, if you guys decided and were capable of disarming this one, I would let you choose where it landed or stop it. Um, <laughs> but given that the the nature of things, um, well, last time it, you just yelled "Do Minesweeper" and held up on the screen, so it was like I really gave up the idea that well, we would disarm it was ever. Going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disarming it didn't really seem possible. Yeah, there's there's no skill checks that could help figure that one out. Yeah. Although disarming these things probably would be a good skill to have. <laughs> uh, you're, yeah. You're, <laughs> one day we'll figure out how. Yeah. Yeah. Can I take a bomb defusal skill? <clears throat> Buy a kit. I'm buying kit. <laughs> Dude, eleven years for a new Counter Strike. Isn't it just CS:GO with a new UI? Yeah. I'm more excited for Fortnite too. And smoke physics. Fortnite too. Okay, I am, uh, the next In corpse misery. is gonna land, like, up here on this ledge near this lake. Oh, where are we? Can you are, you guys are down here. Oh, we're way far away from here, okay. Well, okay. Uh, so, on the horizon, as you guys leave, after the implosion of the flesh pile inside this room, uh, in the distance, you'll be able to see the site you'd seen before, though not mm. super clearly, as that is quite a ways away but you all know what's coming. You're all aware of what's <laughs> happening. Hey. Uh, you can see on the map here is the consulate border, which you've been avoiding, which connects with this the long wall you were going up. So now there is another meteor that has landed behind their border. Hold on a <laughs> second. Is this is this the music from, from uh, Helios? It's Isaac, the Binding of Isaac. Um, oh, because it no. sounds like that's essentially what... Th this one is from uh, the Borderlands 3 DLC. It sounds uh, like it's from Helios, which essentially is what you just tried to give us. Helmet, Helmet will like sort of look up. Is it is it daytime right now? Yeah. It, Helmet will sort of shield his eyes from the sun and look over in the direction of the meteor. Did it? Did it like impact? Did it fall already? There is a slow opening in the sky, like a void gives birth to a giant mass of bony flesh. 
as it begins to be conjured in like the stratosphere around where the clouds would be, the clouds swirling around it. And then once the circle has fully widened for this thing to come through, gravity takes it and it falls to the floor uh, with a shockwave how- that can be felt all the way where you are. Helmet will look up at the at the in that direction and go, eh, it should be all right. Mate, it's not all right, babe. <laughs> <laughs> eh, should be all right. Where where am I, by the way? I don't... We gotta get out of here, mate. <laughs> it's like, we gotta uh, go. I'll be right back. Wait, wait, where's Timmy, mate? Timmy, 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 Timmy. <laughs> oh, right. Timmy. Flaherty, what happened to Timmy? He just fucking died in the pile. Oh, he's dead. Oh, <laughs> mate, mate, that's not good. That's Let's, bad. I think we should just get across the wall, man. Yeah, mate. We gotta get it though. We, we do not here. want to be around here when that thing. Mm-hmm, you know what's gonna oh, happen. We're we're double fugitives now, man. <laughs> t- we didn't do that. It was there. Yes, we did, <laughs> mate. We, we did. did. It's not our fault. We didn't do that. We didn't build that thing, man. Come on. Flatsy would like look around nervously, but like not in agreement. <laughs> What do you think, Helmet? I agree. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the wall. (laughs) (sighs) All right. Um, Yikes. Let's load this map. (laughs) It's always good when the DM says yikes. Oh, that's not good. You guys are done. Um, let me know when you're all loaded. I don't know if you guys are going to run into that loading issue again. Uh, I want to say that I've looked into that extensively and found out for sure that it is an issue within map tools. I've tried a whole bunch of stuff. I've put uh, bug reports on the forum, so hopefully people can look into it. Though they've mostly said if this were a real issue, more people would be reporting it. So I told more people to report it (laughs) because every person that I know who uses map tools, uh, I checked with some people, also have the issue. So hopefully it can get fixed. Uh, Map Tool is an open source platform based in Java. I, I'm praying to the people listening if there's anyone who knows how to do anything with that. Because uh, I don't even want to start a new campaign with uh, different people and introduce them to loading a map and closing the program five times. There has to be <laughs> someone that can look into it. Get to on fair, it. Yeah. I, I only had to reload it once this time. It was legendary. I didn't reload it all. Yeah. I just I just let it I just let it go and eventually it did. Okay, that's good. I, I changed a whole bunch of stuff. I even got like a new modem and like everything. Oh, that's dedication. Hmm. I'm trying. So are we are we exiting the forest now? And uh, if you guys have loaded the map, you currently can see the area that you're in. This uh, greater area to the west of the path is known as the town of Leilun, which uh, has been mentioned once or twice. Um, Timmy Tulip is dead, and as mentioned mm-hmm. in the beginning of the episode, that now would not be an appropriate time to replace characters, so... Um, Alright, let's find Gilliard. Yeah, this is where <laughs> you are on the map. You can see, uh, each of these little nodes are specific locations you can go towards. Uh, and you can see the wall. The Great Wall is behind the town of Leilun up here that you were instructed to be capable of climbing because this path to the north is exactly where the consulate um, blockade would be. So. Do we, do we did we see that... I know you said it was kind of hard for us to see, but do we know that that last meteor landed behind the blockade? Could we surmise that? You would be able to see it forming in the sky in the distance. You don't know the exact location, but you do know that it would be back there. Okay. <laughs> All right, mate. Well, you just went back to Clamtopia, man. I'm telling you. Let's uh, let's keep going then, mate. Fucking follow the lake. Okay. To the wall, right? Yeah, we got we got to get to the yeah. Well, let's get to the wall. You know, would wouldn't mind stopping. Been walking a long time. You want to go to Fishing Town? <laughs> <laughs> no, you see that fucking. That shack right there, mate. Yeah. This one right here, mate. You see that? Yeah. Let's go check it out, mate. Maybe let them know that they's about to get eaten. If there's anyone there. You want to just go to some shack? (laughs) Yeah, mate. Fucking who knows? Look, 
honestly, it's, it's a Robin <laughs> opportunity. Think about it as a Robin opportunity, mate. You know, he's probably wow, got... doing some Robin, eh? I yeah. just I, we, could, we could do with a wee bit of wealth after we spent all of it in that battle. I yeah, think we man. should get the heck over the wall because we are gonna die, boy. <laughs> we got it. Oh, good. Now you're talking my language. Do you think it, it's it, gonna make a bunch uh, more of those dogs? It's 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 on the way, mate. It's it's kind of. Right, you know what? Way. If I'm the odd man out here, then whatever. Let's we'll, be right. we'll be quick. We'll be quick. Quick, quick in and out. Yeah, mate. So are we killing? Are we robbing? Is there... <laughs> uh, I mean, should I, just start I killing not... everyone. <laughs> I prefer not to kill, mate. I honestly prefer not to rob. Maybe well, we just ask him for stuff. <laughs> if, I, if I might chime in here for a minute. <clears throat> now, we've we've exploded, what, two giant flesh piles? Is that right? Two? No. Yeah. No. So why not? Go, I mean, we got to go for You have to have a perfect record. I mean, why not search for a third one? <laughs> All right. That's easy for you to say, man. You got nothing to lose but a head. You know, the rest of us got lives. Hey, I, would, I would argue that I have everything to lose. No, you don't. Your body, you've already <laughs> lost it. <laughs> yes, but it's proportionally more, right? Because, you know, my head is now everything that I have, so it's all I have everything to lose. But listen, I'm just, I, what do I know? I'm just a head. Timmy's dead, mate. Uh, I guess you are all up. brains. All right. He's dead. He's, you, kill fuck, you want us to die, mate? No, you I don't you? want you to die. What are you, you talking? No, what? You I mean, we know, well, listen, we know that death isn't the end. Look at me. Yeah, mate, but if we's all dead, then You said then there was nothing. No there ain't no one to put us on the fucking pan to bring us back as speaking heads. <laughs> yeah, nah, so you know, somebody will come along and probably do that. Nah, mate. Listen. Kill fuck you acting manic, mate. <laughs> we gotta get you some medicine or something, bro. <laughs> gotta get oh, you I on am... some Prozac, man. I am, I am a bit peckish. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you something to eat, mate. Don't worry, okay, thank you. <laughs> Where's it gonna go? Um, <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Hmm. Well, <laughs> so in chat said, ask him something only kill fuck would know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> I don't think Dick has come to the conclusion yet. Hmm. Oh, it says possessed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Into anyway. the cabin. Okay. <laughs> we travel to the closest shack. The point of interest that you guys notice as you come out of the forest. Uh, it is a ruined home halfway sinking into the ground on the outskirts of a murky swamp. There are trails through the mud, evidence of recent occupants leaving the home and heading to the east. Uh, it is safe to assume that given the circumstances of where you are, that it's reasonable to assume anyone may have fled this area given all of the flesh meteors that are suddenly appearing in the sky. Would you like to enter the home and investigate it further? Mate, I mean, we could go in there. It looks pretty fucking donezo, though, mate, if you ask me. We Still, can, if you, you want know, to take a look, I think we should just get to the wall. We need to get to well, that wall, know, and we need to help them build it. Aye, but there's free burgling to be done. Uh, oh, look, I mean... But we're going to die. Okay, uh, all right, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Remember last time when we stopped at a cabin after a flesh bomb was exploded? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, all we gotta do you is You remember not what randomly... happened then, kill fuck? Yeah, huh? fucking... We, we took a nap, mm, mate. That's so <laughs> Then some... Uh, yeah, K kill F took a real long nap. I can't say your name right now. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps, uh, perhaps the longest nap of all, they would say. Although I guess it really wasn't that long. All right, look. Let's just get in this fucking shack. See if they left anything. Get out. Let's go. In and out, uh, quick in and out, bro. At least you guys speaking your language. Well, 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 what do you think, Flaherty? We can burgle this hut, no problem. Uh, well, <laughs> we'd probably let's just not stick around because last time we stayed in the hut, it was bad. All right, in and out. So, okay. all right, in and out. Let's treat this like a grab and go. Yeah. yeah so yeah, we're yeah. so this is what we do now. <laughs> Yeah, mate. Look, you're the one who wanted to fucking leave. Let that bomb explode, mate. You, you, you're a criminal now, Chuck. I With said we should tell someone that knows what they're doing. We, we ain't gonna find someone fast enough. And besides, if they knew what they was doing, they wouldn't have gotten made and exploded in the first fucking place. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, they're no, not no aware of it. No one's gonna know that it's out there, bro. We were gonna, gonna tell people. It said, uh, you, you know, you guys always try to solve. Pro you know what? Let's just let's just go break everything and steal everything. 
Yeah, mate. I like the sound of that. Whatever, man. I'm a, I'm a good person. <laughs> Chuck, you ain't a good I'm person, I'm a good mate. man. Hey, Chuck, I see what you've done, mate. I I'm a good man. Done. Look, we had our chance at redemption. You, you keep telling yourself that, okay? <laughs> are you telling us or are you telling yourself? I'm, I'm telling everyone. <laughs> Just like you're telling yourself. I'm telling everyone. Because <laughs> we know that you're not. Why? Chuck, listen. What? You, where, where do we start? <laughs> what, what, do you what? want a list? Hold yes. on, let me get my list. I would pull out my I would I would I would pull it out of my head, but you know, I don't have one. I don't have a list to pull out of my head. <laughs> but it's there. Chuck, I think you're alright, man. You're just caught up in a gang of criminals. <laughs> I used to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, I mean, you fucking killed a woman. <laughs> what? No, I didn't. I, I've oh, known no, you, you, killed, you killed the I've girl. You, that's right. That's right. I've known you for less than a day, mate, and I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just go into the cabin. Yeah, let's get it. Look, get anything <laughs> that looks like it's worth anything, mate. All right. Steals. The group reluctantly walks inside the small ruined home. It looks like it would have been a piece of shit even when it was in order. Uh, mud tracks throughout the house and odd scents coming from multiple different filled jars. It seems like whoever used to live here was a practitioner of alchemy. Oh, that's and me. And the only things left behind are relevant ingredients to alchemy. And Chuck, give me an alchemy check. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Alchemy. You want to click this? Click. You want me to click one? Click OK. Your good luck. Yeah. How come you? How come you can't Nine. say fuck? That's okay, her. that's that's okay. I guess. Thank you. Wow. Also, okay. Say fuck, Penta. Say it. Say what? Say Sorry, I can't say. Say it. Say, say, say fuck out loud. Right? Say I can't. a swear. I'm holding my say gun up to you in the game. Say a swear. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. It's not even Sunday. Her mom's in the <laughs> other room. I can't. Do oh, it. I Man. thought it was just it. No, <laughs> I can't. Okay, chill. Kill friend, dude. Kill friend. Kill friend. <laughs> yeah, there's a Bible verse on the wall, you guys. Um, <laughs> just don't look at the Bible verse. Okay, what sauce do you want for this? Okay. Uh, we have like sriracha ketchup. Yep. Do bring you it. Want that? Yep. Okay. Are you gonna get the barbecue? The sriracha ketchup. The sriracha yep. ketchup. You good? Right. Mountain Dew. Mm. Yeah. Do up. Uh, oh. Chuck believes that with these ingredients, he could upgrade his fire bomb. Sorry. Um, uh, here is what the. Can I make uh, a bomb defusal bomb? <laughs> um, <laughs> you believe that anyone who knew literacy or mysticism might be able to make some checks appropriate to disarming a mystic ritual. <laughs> yeah, I have insane stats in both, and I'm the one that keeps blowing them up. Yeah, what? <laughs> okay, you're, um, you're, yeah, that, that sounds good if I can just upgrade. Oh, are you right. asking me or are you telling me that I'm upgrading my bomb? Uh, I'm... Uh, I don't know why you wouldn't want to. Hold on, I'm just running into a new issue. A new, brand new programming issue. It's always something, right? Yeah, I thought I was super clever and fixed something, and I was so happy because it's like streamline streamlines a whole bunch. Mm. Uh, but then also it gives errors in specific situations, so fuck that. Not happy. Not happy at all. Uh, you'd be able to upgrade it to concoction. It will no longer cost wealth. It'll Ooh. instead have the keyword consume, so you have a limited amount you can use per day. Any ability with consume, share their consume uses implying that you use the ingredients uh that day to prepare several different concoctions and this one is identical to firebomb except it scales more with alchemy and you can choose poison or blight as well as fire oh yeah that sounds great i'll do that obviously that sounds wonderful now yeah, which oh you get to do it when the skills use yeah cool. when you use, yeah yeah Poggers. Mm -hmm. Poggies. Um, and with a nine on the awareness check, you also find a special item. Oh. I got to double check its name so I can generate it. Alchemist potion. The strongest uh -huh. potion. You can't handle that. 
but I'm going into battle. You hover over it. It is basically learning a passive skill in exchange for an injury. <laughs> what? <clears throat> so you offer us four random passive skills, gain an injury. Injuries aren't that bad sometimes. How many do you have? Do you know? I got a couple. One of them is. Oh, you have, you have two. Yeah, they're. I mean, it's a mystery box, of course. How do I do it? <laughs> do it. I clicked it. Nothing happened. Do it. Yes, the box. Give me it. Yes, 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 yes. The box, the box. Yes, I'm getting. The, I'm preparing the box. Woo! Spin the wheel. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, sir. Give him a big spinny. Why? Why even give him the box? Just give him the result of the box. Because you never know. You know I'm gonna take. No, you know I'm taking the box. I'm all, okay, I always take the box. You always take the box. There could be. There could be a bomb defusal skill in that. <laughs> there could uh, be. You passively defuse all flesh bombs. Incredible. <laughs> we win. We won. On its four. Inside the box is another Anxiety? Box. I already have that. Um, four plus damage. Okay. Um, Second one, you don't have any unity effects. So, useless. Wow. Useless. When you block an attack. Oh, these are useless. You want to know what's you want to know what's not useless? What? Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh well, true strike. I don't have that, right? Uh. Nope. Yeah, that's useless too. Okay, easy. Cannot gain true strike. Done. Nice. <clears throat> totally super worth. No unity. Uh, gain plus 10 accuracy when successful performing an end shot with the bow. I mean, I guess I always could get a bow. Anxiety when you're at half-life. Do you have four plus bonus damage? Is that for every kind of damage? Um, yes. That's not it's, bad. It's quite fucky, but yes. Okay. <laughs> it's the short answer. <laughs> like the, the concoction that you have wouldn't do the bonus damage because it only applies ailments and then the ailment isn't you. That kind of weird stuff, but um, but I, I'm just I'm just mean like psychic damage and all that. Yeah, it should apply to that. I mean, yeah, that's how I feel like that I'm at half life or lower all the time. So <laughs> sure. Okay. Cool. Nice. Not bad. <laughs> Chuck gains an injury. End anxiety. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get hurt again. Do you think it's going to happen again? <laughs> Not again, man. Not again. <laughs> so he added a oh, man, do you think there's more bombs? There probably are, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely more. Oh, no. We should go find them. Oh, no. All right, man, let's get the fuck out of here, bro. Any wealth? Any wealth for the taking? Yeah. Nope. No. Just alchemy stuff. Which you could have potentially maybe sold, but you got an alchemy man. We have an alchemy man. I mean that bomb's good. That, that's gonna be it's gonna be good for all of us guys. Yeah, mate, yeah. Cool. Yeah, mate. Where are we headed? We heading we head toward the town now, mate. To the fishing town? Yeah, yeah. Should we bring yeah. some fish? Nah, mate, nah. <laughs> The group wanders through a small fishing village that's on the side of this larger swampy lake. It seems as though all of the homes in this area have also been evacuated for, uh, you know, reasons. What with all the flesh meteors and the danger of these demon dogs running through the forest and killing anyone who's on the south side of the town. A lot of demon mm -hmm. dogs. There is only, Wait. as Wait. you travel through the town, what? South side of the town? 
this town? Uh, uh, yeah, this whole area being like basically Greater Leyloon. This would be the south side. Okay. Leyloon South Side. Yeah. Yeah. As you travel through the fishing village, there is only one man who stands on the edge of a dock, overlooking the swamp, refusing to leave. Mike. Oi. Hey. <clears throat> Mike. He turns and looks back to the group and ignores you and kind of goes back to what he's doing. Does he look like an old man? Um, you're still at a, at a bit of a distance if you were to approach him. He looks like he could be kind of old, looks a little screwed up. Like this whole town is quite impoverished and... Is he fat? He's... Yeah, let's, let's walk up to him, see what he's doing. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is this? Grub, dude. Oh shit! Yeah, he's got a suitcase. It's, it's business, Grub. Hey, <laughs> what do you guys want? Don't you yeah. know y'all should be getting out of here? Shit's all fucked up. Yeah, mate. Why don't you, I mean, why don't you come with us, bro? Yeah, we might be uh, responsible for that. I ain't leaving in my goddamn home. I was born here, raised here in the swamp out here in the bayou kitchen. These old catfish and I ain't leaving for nothing. I don't care how many balls fall from my sky. I ain't staying here for the rest of my life. Bayou? All right, mate. Well, I mean. Straight from the bayou. You got any messages you want us to pass on or anything like that, bro? Any loved right. ones you want us to contact or anything? My old family's dead. <laughs> this guy's no hilarious. <laughs> My wife don't left me. I ain't got nothing left. You can tell those fucking city slickers to come so, down here and kick my ass. Hey, so what's your plan then, mate? You gonna fucking kill all the, the flesh monsters that's gonna come to eat you? Are you gonna you killing yourself? What's up, mate? <laughs> killing myself is a coward's way out. You a bunch of little pussies. No, mate, we, we, killed ton, we killed tons of them things, bro. I'm just Y'all wondering. look like a bunch of sissies. This guy's sucking on his pipe like a dick. Hey. <laughs> true, Chuck looks like a bit of a dick, but I'm bigger than you, you cheeky fuck. I will incept your mind and make you do that to me, and I can't go into details about what it is, <laughs> but I would if I could. I will make but it you will... do that to me. But, but it will be that. Very... I weren't asking, mate, if you was gonna, you know, actively, actively kill yourself, mate. I was just wondering if you was staying here with the intention of eventually doing, protecting his, your hometown, bro. I'm staying here with the intention of fishing till my last day. <laughs> All right, mate. Well, uh, you know, we's we's a bunch of, you know, you call us sissies, whatever, mate. We ain't sissies. Uh, we're heroes, mate. And I was wondering, perhaps. You, you just told me they us... were criminals. <laughs> what's, your, you... what's your stance on noodling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, noodling, you might notice I ain't got no lame fishing rod on me. I'm jumping in, I'm bringing up the cats, I'm getting them myself. Oh, this guy's on a real. Roll like. This guy's the real deal. He's just right, jumping mate. in and taking the fish out. You got, you got anything you could give us on our way, mate? You got any, any, anyone in town you didn't like whose house we could fucking rob on the way out? <laughs> I don't like any of them. Town went to shit. All right, mate. Listen, it's so That's crowded so up there right now, and all the people trying to run away from these horrible signs of the unknown occult and all that. Uh, they're going to be running out of food up there. Then who's going to be the crazy one? Me there's down here with that. all my fish. Yeah. Mate, they're going to eat you, bro. You're going to be fucking dead. Mate, uh, Gruff, uh, I don't even know if he introduced himself. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, my name's Gruff, by the way. Nice to meet you. Fine. Mate, yeah, uh, nice to meet you, your name. I had a feeling Mate. you was a Gruff. You kind of look like a Gruff. <laughs> name's Dick, bruv. Oi, listen, have you seen the monsters yourself? Have you fought them? Anything like that? I ain't seen any monsters. Just All right, listen, they're going to get... Killer fish out here are basically monsters. But they Wait. fear me. They fear the land I walk on. Can they Oi. cannot Oi. trespass the threshold of this swamp unless they wish to face me. All right, that's well, cool, I mean, man. You should stay you, here. <laughs> you're gonna die, mate. I feel I, it's it, surely, mate. This ain't it for you, bro. What are y'all so scared of? I ain't scared, man. I see stories of the stars and the cosmos coming down to take your kids. Nah, <laughs> man, because we like did most of this, so. Yeah, listen, Trust mate. Trust us, we know what true, we're talking about. True. It's our fault a wee bit. 
if there's if there were a foremost group of experts on this matter, mate, I think it would actually be us somehow. I look at Kilfuck there. He was twice the size of you, and he's fucking dead. <laughs> or was dead. Sorry, Kilfuck. Can I die? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, I, oh, dang. You got a good old talking head over there. You guys are you guys are silly with it. You're making all shit up. You can't trust no nonsense. We got talkers. more than one talking head. We've She'll been known to get on. a little silly around here. <laughs> Yeah, mate, why don't you just fucking leave, mate? Look, you can come back once they's dead, once the consulate comes I, in. And you just telling go, me just go fishing somewhere else. To leave my home, you're insane. I lived here my whole life. How old are you, it was mate? all shit, and if I leave now, then why didn't I leave as a kid? I could have been happy. I'm 23 years old. Well, you didn't leave when you was a kid because they ain't, there weren't fucking two flesh meteors spitting out horrible monsters that are going to eat you, mate. Oh, but I could have left when I was a kid and never would have gone and got the herpes. Hey, did your daddy ever <laughs> teach you anything? Uh, he taught me a little bit about fishing before one of the creatures got him. What about the, what do you put on a, a hook, a worm? Well, uh, you can put whatever you got on there, you get a different fish. Did your daddy ever put teach you to, bait. <laughs> daddy ever teach you to handle a worm? <laughs> Daddy told me not to be ashamed of my body. <laughs> well, come on with us then, Gruff. <laughs> Especially since it's such a good size and all. Mate, listen, we'll walk you to fucking the town, mate. I told you, they're all a bunch of losers up there. If Damn. they had any galls, they'd stay on down here. Well, you know, you know how most folks are, mate. They're fucking stupid, stubborn, mm -hmm. illiterate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they ain't got much going for them. What's got you all in a little tizzy here trying to save an old fisherman anyway? We watched well, yeah, the bomb I feel, blow up. I feel a bit guilty, mate. I gotta be honest. I feel I, a little bit... pretty much our fault that you're gonna die. Yeah, mate. Hey, yeah, don't blame no it on fate. us when you get eaten by a horrible flesh monster. It ain't, it ain't, got, it, it ain't like I got no faith, mate. It's just, you know, you, know, you look pretty big. You got a, a, what looks like stone armor. That, I mean, surely you're strong enough to be wearing something like that, mm -hmm. you know? You would have been all right after the first one. <laughs> but I the second one would have been. Another dumb meteor to think he done come on down. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're going to. It, 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 let's just say the consulate's pinched right now, mate. And if they make it the out, I'll be let's, let's just say it's on the Wii. I'm yeah. high. You're high. I gotta, <laughs> you drive a hard bargain, but uh, you see, I believe that I was divinely chosen by the poet. I'm a boy. Right. these lands. Oh, okay. You see, our old uh, church guy is talking all about his fancy writing in the books and stuff and said that, you know, you're chosen for your role and you got to play it to the end, even if it gets you killed. That's stupid. That's romantic. Hey, you're, you're pretty stupid. Wait, I, I'm, I can read. Can you? Right, is, this, is this the <laughs> fucking place? You remember that fucking vision we unscrambled, mate? Remember that? I do no, not. No, not you, mate. Fucking me party. Hey, you remember the fucking the story about the goy with the the boat? You know what I'm talking about, mate? No. Oh, I, I, I. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. That's the right. picture was all there for that. Was yeah. there? Yeah, no, you weren't there for that. Mate. Okay, I wasn't there for that. It, it was it? Was that guy from fucking Leilu, mate? I don't remember. I don't think the, it's said. Or, the the original painting many episodes ago, or at the tower recently. Uh, I'm talking about the the tower vision. Yeah, the one on the tower. That guy is like twenty thousand years old. I know. I'm just wondering if he I was know. here. <laughs> um, he would have lived in that tower, which is why you found the relevant items to him in that tower. Ah, uh, ooh. Is Gruff on his porch when we're talking to him? He's on a dock. He's yeah. out on the oh, dock. On he dock? was looking over the water. We should kill him. Uh. I'm right, gonna mate. just. I want to kick in the nearest <laughs> door and just start ransacking while while everyone's talking to him. Yeah, mate. Listen, I I try, mate. Listen, I tried. All right, mate. Good luck. We're just gonna we're just gonna look in a couple houses and we're gonna go north, mate. All right. Uh, when you get up there, make sure you uh, don't uh, don't actually care. All, all right. right. <laughs> you have a good one, mate. <laughs> it looks out. On the lake, <laughs> looks out on the lake, dude. Is that like your they Stanley? All fear me. <laughs> Puts his arm in the water. There's the Stanley cameo. <laughs> all right. 
Well, cool. You just want to start uh, robbing? Flaherty, Flaherty tries looting some houses and finds a wealth case. Um, on a 50 or higher, you'll find one more. Whoa. Easy. Matter of fact, on a 90. Let me, let me, let me, let me see oh. what I got here. On a 98, it's a big gamble, right? Wowee. Wow. You know, I can't help but notice we're not blowing up any more flesh piles. Mate, because <laughs> we ain't found one, bruv. Also, okay, he's going to blow up any... They're going to blow up anyway, mate. Yeah, well, maybe we should help them think, along. Dick, perhaps I should try and figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> mate, I, look, as long as I don't die, I don't really give a fuck. I'm going to be honest with you, mate. I feel like I know not what to do. Well, then f fucking figure it out, mate. <laughs> I will. We just need to well, find another one so I can right. practice. Hopefully they ain't one north of us, mate. <laughs> We're in dire straits if that's the case. Man, let's just go to the wall. Wait, so do, if I, what happens if I big gamble? Do I lose uh, a wood? If you big gamble, it is a 10% chance to get 20 and a 90% chance to get nothing. You have to do it. Do, well, do, I can do regular gamble one of them. No, yeah, no. I'll regular gamble the first one. No, you, you're hot right now. You don't stop when you're hot. You just rolled 98. Uh, I think I did well because it made a success noise, but then also I got a huge error. Thing. What was I the heard, error? Heard, so it heard, evens out. Uh, it said table. The GM is disallowed player use of table. ADJ mid error trace. Well, yo base. mid, you're mid. Do so you know how mid. much wealth you had? He had like oh, forty God. something. I had forty wealth. Yeah. Okay. Here, let me use the rest. Um, do you want to gamble the rest? Gamble one more Wait, if you just run, dude. What happened? What what just happened? How did I only get seven wealth out of that one? You didn't have exactly forty. I think you had That's forty-seven. So long. Uh oh. Uh. Yeah, I it made the sound and everything happened correctly. I have no idea what the error okay, is. If you let's have do, like a picture of it should later. I, oh, it fuck, help. should I big gamble? No, don't big gamble. It's I'll, like I'll do right, normal gamble. Normal gamble. Bro, this guy's a puss. Oof. What the fuck? Could you guys hear the sound effect? It's like yeah. a yeah. 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 That that one should have shown up in chat. Let me do it because I think yeah. for some reason that said, I gamble, need you to get be nothing. a DM. I think you. So I think you need to delete the other one from my. No, back. you had three. You got one more. What do you want oh, me to okay. roll? Big, big, uh, normal, big, huge. Normal, nah, gamble. normal gamble. No. Normal gamble. Yeah. Normal gamble. Yeah. Uh, hold on, my. If you big gamble all three, that's thirty percent. That's good odds. Those are terrible odds. That uh, one? That's good 30, odds. It's not 30%. It's 10% three times. No, bro. no, okay. no, 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 no. It's 30%. Oh, here we go. Realistically, it's 50-50. You either get it or you don't. True. <laughs> Something happened with my stream to display. I'm just fixing it real quick. It's not showing chat for some reason. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. You're getting rid of the worst part. Keep it without chat. No, I mean the map tools chat that is telling people what's happening. Oh, wait, that is a good part. That's true. Okay, you should normal gamble. Up. You should save up for 10 crates right, normal and then gamble. you'll have a 100% chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll hit it once. Yeah, nice. there we go. There, there it is. What does that say? Right. Spice? <laughs> It should, it should spice. say spices and spice opal. opal. Uh, oh, spice opal. Case spice spices opal. Cool. All right, man. Yeah. We just made twenty. We just made twenty wealth at that house. Yup. Yeah. It randomly yep. generates the whatever's in it, so it's a little goofy. Yeah. Fucking balling! All right, where are we going? We's going north, mate. We're going north. Ball in. Hey, we do, you go to that do you intend for these these little houses to be stopped at? You know what I'm talking no, about? No, they're they're part of the fishing village. Okay, we go to the church. What I, I asked because of uh, these ones up here. I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not particularly wanting to do it. I'm just wondering if you intended for us to interact with them. The only places that I have intended for you to interact with are the, the diamonds, right? The diamonds, but there is other things I'm aware of on the map. Okay. But like as you pass these, if you continue going up north, uh nothing about it looks particularly interesting. It's just like if you want to go into a farmhouse and start like 
fucking around nice. with farmers. Oh. All right, mate. Let's fucking. I, I would have suggested skipping the bridge anyway. So <clears throat> I'm glad we went up here. All right, mate. Let's go fucking west. Triangulating the 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 sun, the shadows. Is the church, mate? Do you go towards the church? Yeah. Yeah, mate. Let's go to church. Um, give me one second. Don't move. <laughs> oh, I was moving kill fuck onto my belt. You need to turn your sight off. Oh, we could uh, off. we could probably sell kill fuck for like fifteen minutes to people. <laughs> For some Wait, wealth. What do you mean? Nothing. For what? Nothing. For what, mate? Can you say out loud exactly what you intended, mate? Just whatever they might want to do. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is. Someone to talk to. Yeah, whatever, man. You, you begin approaching the church, and outside, along the cobblestone path, you come across one random individual. Uh, no one you've seen before. I think last time you thought this might have been lucky, so I just want to be clear that <laughs> can't, have, can't have art for literally every person in the world. Right. Uh, so you see him standing over some of his own vomit, throwing up more onto the ground. He's in a red, a shallow ripped red robe that has filth all over it with his chest bare to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Oi, mate. You all right, bro? Sick of oh. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Are you all here for the sermon? Yeah. yeah. What's the sermon about, mate? We're the disciples. Of war. We've, we've heard of the forthcoming of these flesh balls from the sky. The prophet warns us. You will be saved. Salvation lies. <laughs> this hey, guy what, can't what, even I, save himself. Uh, I'm sorry. What, I, what'd you eat? What's, what's going on, mate? You sick? I've been embracing the filth a little bit too much these days. Oh, uh -oh. me too, mate. Oh. Yeah. Look at me head. He shows. <laughs> been carrying this around, bro. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. I. I admire that. That's 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 quite beautiful. Oi, I, I've only. Hey, say hello, Killfolk. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> oh <laughs> God! Yeah, Truly, man. the blessings <laughs> of the primal gods are generous. Oh, you you flatter me, please. Hey, Dick, yeah, you, you should know, roll uh, around in that vomit. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm going to, mate. But, <laughs> you know, maybe there's a reason you came across to us right now, mate. A reason? Ma maybe we's coming here for a reason, mate. Are you suggesting something, or? I don't know what I'm saying. Hey, where's your boss at, mate? You know Radiant Mike? <gasps> of course. Cool. Listen, Whoa, wait, come on. like actually? Yes. The sermon's have about you, to begin. Have we you are seen him? Of, you know, I've been hearing a lot about this Radiant Mike. What's his deal? He's giving the sermon. <laughs> oh, Radiant wait. Mike, guys. Oh, my. We are the disciples of Radiant. Time to be as fucking ass. That's so uh, weird. No. no, are you no she, means, she means pound. Mate. She means pound. <laughs> yeah, listen, mate. I'm a... Uh, we, oh, we're, shit, ro no. we're romantically involved, mate. Yeah, she meant to say pound. You know, you know what the rest of that is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. my. <laughs> Have you shared the flesh of the radiant leader? <laughs> yeah, my. Honestly, you know, I was on a boat with him over here, all of us. I mean, most of us now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, most yeah, of us. We sailed from the mainland. Oi. Oh. Hey, wait, why don't you get inside, mate? And uh, we'll be right behind you, mate. I just got to <sighs> eat some of your vomit real quick. All right. It's truly, Radiant Mike has been a blessing to this town. He prophesized and foretold the I, coming I bet of you the were nowhere near as filthy till he got his hands on you, were you? Oh, this old church used to be for the poet, but he couldn't even predict this. Not like a true prophet. How did he get sick? Well, I don't know if you would like to roll around and be honk together. <laughs> <laughs> and then we so can go back and join the rest. It doesn't... It does it to everybody, Dick. Mate, 
I think I think Radiant Mike would want me to have all of that honk. Tech. I uh, hear you, mate. I hear you, mate. I'm talking to him right now, mate. Listen, but, he's playing you, deck like he's playing them. I mean, we might as well check the sermon hour here. Sharing in the filth is certainly would be in yeah, our best right. interest. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go, mate. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you vomit on me a little um, bit, too? Why should I be here? For, should I be seen? Yes, you should, mate. Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> where's one now? Mate? All right. Yeah, okay, that's fair. It's kind of nice. <laughs> I'm going to go yeah, check it out. Let, would you let Lucy in? Wait, Chuck, don't go yet, mate. All Hold right. on. Stop all moving right, for one second. <laughs> no, you're good. What, I just want to turn the sight off, kill fuck. It's, right. it's too late. Anyway, I'm gonna, we're going to have a little chat amongst friends and then join your sermon, all right? Be, oh, wow. be hasty. It begins now. I all right, guys, listen. Uh, come here. A quick little huddle, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Dick, L that little was huddle. fucking gross. I, I know. I, look, I know, mate. Mike's still got his claws in you. I know. No, he doesn't, mate, because I'm going to suggest... You know, you, you, it's really gross, mate. I'm going to climb in the bell tower, and I'm going to get ready to shoot him. <laughs> All right, what? mate? Yeah, yeah, You're going to Abraham Lincoln tower. him, whoever yeah, that is? <laughs> <laughs> so, should we attend the sermon, then, and then yeah, just mate, just... buy you some time? Well, hold on, yeah. hold on. Time, mate. Hold on. Oh, okay. Hear me out. What if we just hear him out? Because remember the last time... Remember when that one cultist died, and then that was a mess. This guy's like the giga cultist. Yeah, we just gotta look for. I mean, you know, if he's standing in a circle <clears throat> with candles around it, I probably won't shoot him, mate. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and claw him. <laughs> if we could just get a, get a good, get a good advantageous spot up there, bro. We could board up the church and burn it down. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you trying to get a sight line? Uh, I don't know, mate. Is, is there like a? There, there are windows on the side. If you walk around, Why? you're just gonna be in the window with way. a gun. <laughs> I'm not gonna crouch. Chuck's, gonna be... Chuck's a wee bit <sighs> onto something. Why don't we seal the church up and just burn them? Mate, it's fucking stone. You see that? Why? It's stone, but everything inside's wood. Mm -hmm. That'd burn. Oh, so what are you gonna do? Kick the door down, throw a torch in, and hope that they don't fucking extinguish it by the time it catches fire? What's the plan? <laughs> Well, what's your plan? You're going to shoot him in a window and run? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll fucking reload. I'll shoot again, mate, if I got to. That's true. What, let's just hear him out. Maybe he'll talk to us afterwards. We could be alone. All right, fine. Ooh, maybe I, maybe you can seduce still, uh, him. There's got to be a better on way. On his side? Yes. And, that we want, and you've missed him and you want to catch up privately? Yeah, I and mean, then we'll jump him. We've already oh. done all this. We might as well just keep up the cheeky fucker, the ruse, right? All right, right, okay then. Yeah, we'll just keep. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Are we? Are, well, I mean, why yeah, don't we just we... bust into? I mean, you've got a gun. Why don't you just walk in and shoot him? Because, mate, there's like fucking fifty people in there, bro. What are they gonna do, huh? Turn on me, mate. You're already dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Radiant Mike, it's us. Uh, remember? Um... All right, Mike. Hey, Mike. Oh. Uh, it's ready and Mark. All right. Marco. Well, welcome. More have joined the swarm. It's us, Mike, remember? Uh, I, I see you all, yes, but I, I am in the middle of giving a sermon. But do you remember if... us? Yes, I do remember you, Chuck. <laughs> We're just going to join your man. sermon and maybe we can see us afterwards, okay? Uh, that sounds fantastic. I apologize for not giving you my full attention, but we have quite the swarm growing here. Yeah, but we did all it, demand. Though. It did. You told us to embrace the filth, and we did it. <laughs> it, 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 it. Excuse me, my my brilliant swarm. I hope you're having a radiant day. Uh, I must go converse with my old friends. Yeah, we we did it. We did all this really. Right, Mike, Mike, we did we, it twice. We set, we set off both bombs. We yeah, did two it. bombs. We did that. Mike. Uh, everyone, if we could potentially talk outside somewhere a little bit more quiet. Cool, man. Uh, all okay. Right, all right, all sure. Right. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Mike, we did it, mate. Hey, Mike. We embraced the filth. We got the one in the age of order, and we got the one in the fucking cave. <laughs> yep. Did them both up real good. That's fantastic, everyone. I knew that you wouldn't let me down. Dick, I am so proud of you, my precious baby boy. Hey, <laughs> we all did it. Yeah, it was a group effort, mate. I mean, I... 
You know, I almost merged with the first one. I rolled around in oh, it. Oh, that would have yeah, been actually, fantastic. Actually, we had a friend called Timmy who did merge with the second one, and he's gone now. He's dead. Yeah, he, he fucking exploded. Oh, yeah, he's oh. super dead. Also, <laughs> he what's up? Uh, how's it going, uh, mate? My name's uh, Helmut. Uh, I don't think we've met before. Oh, a pleasure to meet you. He'll put out a hand and try and shake yours if you'll have uh, him. Oh, and that's yeah, Kilfak. I mean, he's a wee bit shorter he'll than he'll you remember. Yeah, you rem you might remember me. I look slightly different. Oh, very strange. You have all certainly been up to some incredible activities. Mm. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Well, so I'm so uh, happy to see you all again. I admit you, you going on significantly. The end, hey, Walder, yeah. what, what's the deal, Mike? Are you the devil? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh gosh, no. I, th I think the I think the <laughs> veneer, the mask is off, mate. I think you know, talking about your swarm, yeah, getting us bombs. to detonate giant flash bombs yeah. or killing I everyone, mate. Between between us, old Mike, we know you're a piece of shit. Whoa, so, <laughs> whoa, whoa, that, that might be a compliment. I'm That's just simply what we're uncalled for. <laughs> But Mike, Listen, what's your, I'm, I'm what's sure. Your plan? Just tell you, look, I feel like you owe us a fucking explanation, mate. What's your plan, bro? Do you I'm, give us the abbreviated version, mate? At least I'm on board with whatever, Mike. <laughs> I'm sure that there's a lot of misunderstandings right now, and it's hard to address them all at once, particularly when you've got me at a bad time right before I was about to give my sermon to all of my new what's swarm. What's that fucking noise? The music just changed again. The music was too upbeat for <laughs> Mike to... Why did this take such an eerie turn? What happened? Mike, it's what it's only doing? eerie if you make it eerie. What are you doing after your sermon, mate? Oh, well, I was... I didn't really plan you that You were going to turn all those yet. people into a bomb, weren't you? <laughs> no, gosh. Mate. Oh. mate, listen. I have had nothing to do with those bombs. They simply were, and I simply knew about them. You're telling the truth, mate. How did yes. you know about you them then? You promised me you did. I mean, I don't care. Let's be clear. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, just what are you? What? Don't what are lie you? anymore, mate. Dick, <laughs> Dick, please. It sounds like you do care a whole I lot. Don't, no, I don't care, mate, because they're fucking dead. Whatever. I don't know them. I mean, I knew Timmy a little bit. He was all right. Bit of a freak, but, you know, I really don't care about anyone that's fucking on. <laughs> I really don't. You should be rejoicing that Timmy would die in such a divine way to join the Holy Flesh Mass Mike, granted to us by the Progenitor. Mike, are we your bombs, or are they someone else's bombs? They were not my bombs. Truly. If they're not yours, you then perhaps we should be finding the real Mass. What are Mike. you, Mike? What are you? I am simply radiant. No, what does that mean? Oh, that makes <laughs> sense, yeah. If he just says he's radiant, then yeah, there he My, is. Mike, look, we, we've done a good job, right? Yes, if, if you would all so kindly stop shouting i could potentially start from the beginning and yeah, give you sorry. Sorry. Okay, sorry. some of the answers we found I just, we're, we're a little worked up we're a little worked up i'm a, I'm I'm a little curious heated. i'm a bit heated mike do yeah, you remember okay. what i said to you dick way back when when you had just recently shot that old lady <laughs> <laughs> oh I, I remember that I, I, allegedly I, allegedly I don't, <laughs> I don't recall specifically what you said man. Uh, specifically was i asked very kindly that you would do me the honor of not killing me yeah mate I yeah. feel like you're all coming on quite strong right now, no, accusing mate. me of a lot of things that I've like, like, had no part in. Think, think about it this way, mate. You know, I mean, you told me to let it happen, mate. I convinced them to not to not get rid of the bomb in the Aegis Order. And guess what? Everyone fucking died. In fact, we almost died if we didn't run fast Mike, I'll tell you right now, for free, it blew up in my fucking face. It blew right up in, in her fucking face. face. And she, she's already had a hard enough time with her head, mate. Look, it's not even attached to her fucking body anymore. Clean off and it, when? And yet she still stands. Well, did you know Good point. that was going to happen, mate? That's my question, bro. My hunch was simply that we were destined for greater fate, having been on that boat together, the big load crashing at sea, and still every single person on that boat who meant something was <laughs> capable of surviving. Mike, where are you from, mate? Somewhere out in the woods. Oh. <laughs> oh Jesus. How old are you, Mike? I'm just wondering. <laughs> hmm two two one Mike, hey. how can you have a hey, relationship <laughs> with dick if you're keeping so many secrets i said that i would explain everything from the beginning all right I'm i sorry. do I not intend get on with it then i'm not getting I'm, any younger I'm sorry, for, I'm sorry for cutting you off mate please all right where should it begin well two years ago a radiant day when i reclaimed my sentience you see you may have figured it out by now, but I am a 
horrible flesh creature underneath this glorious. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, that makes sense. Hunch, hey? Yeah, that does make sense. But I have to say that not all flesh creatures are evil. For you see, when we realize that we are capable of sentience, we can really take on any life. And I took on the life of this farmer I murdered. <laughs> you see. But murder is evil. <laughs> Murder isn't explicitly evil, for at the time, I still didn't know what I was doing. But coming to devour on his brains, something sparked inside of me. And I realized, wow, I really want to be human. Haven't you oh, ever had that feeling, Dick? Well, yeah, kind of. A little bit. You yeah, are, I feel that human, more Dick. recently. So, do you, what was your life like before that? Well, I don't really remember much of it. Just sort of... I imagine running around in the woods and pointless bestial nature. So was you like a like a wolf or something? I could show you. All right. Yeah. I mean, is... yeah. All no, right. I kind of want to see too. Yeah. Uh, I must let you know that I will let it remain brief, as I don't want to startle any of my followers. Yeah, yeah. You look. They're all fucking simple. To I want to see I get it. <laughs> uh, oh. oh my god! Wow. Sherfo was right, man. Sherfo. I was right the whole time. I wouldn't want you to define me by my demonic nature, though. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so what? I mean, what compelled you to come here, then, mate? Of all places. Well, it is as I told you. In the beginning, I was simply interested in seeing the Holy Land, the Great giant wasteland where the progenitor lies presumably the snake, the snake right? well not quite well some say that the snake is the progenitor but i had been tipped off in eden by someone from some sort of secret rich people society that there may or may not be a flesh bomb uh, plot being devised in the holy land all right oh, okay well you think you think it was remember that fucking the seal you found, Chuck? Yeah. I think it was that, mate. I don't know. Hey, Mike, look at this. Show's ring. <laughs> oh, wouldn't you know it? That's the one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. All right, so someone from that <clears throat> family, mate. They, they, what, what was it they owned the fucking Aegis Order keep before the Aegis Order did, Roy, mate? Yeah, they oh, were. That, oh, that was the Arbons, but I believe you're speaking of the Solstice Society. Oh, yeah. Oh. A bunch of weirdos, if you ask me. But it seems that they've wrapped themselves up in some sort of bathymetic ritual to summon chunks of the progenitor. So this is the progenitor that's fallen on us. Well, that's certainly what I'm teaching to my swarm. I've heard that the consulate are calling it the nameless horror, but I find that quite blasphemous. It's certainly the second coming of the progenitor. <laughs> All right, mate. So mm, you have, you have so a horrible long. flesh monster. Yep. Yeah. I, I wouldn't describe myself as horrible. Well, yeah, I, I'm from Radiant speaking from flesh layman, <laughs> layman's terms, you know, uh, obviously you're not that horrible, mate. You got supple cheeks and supple cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice uh, may, may I ask, where has embracing the filth steered you wrong? I, that's what I'm saying. I mean, we're here. Yeah. I mean, I got an oil on me back. You see that? Oh, yeah, show him your back. Yeah, look at me, oi, mate. And he lifts oh. up his, his coveralls. Absolutely glorious. And you're here to tell me that I am a disgusting flesh monster. Shame <laughs> on you. Well, you know, I said he's got, you, know, he's got I, you there, I, Dick. He's I, got well, you there. <laughs> I figured I could say, mate, because I myself am a disgusting flesh monster, mate. <laughs> well, listen, there's a lot more to the story. And I have to say that when I originally came here, I didn't intend for any of this to happen. I mean, I knew giant flesh balls were going to fall from the sky at some point, naturally. I didn't know how soon or when. My involvement was scarce at best. And then when I traveled to this town, it was my intention to go find some connection to all this sort of hocus pocus going on in the woods. Uh, but then I found a whole bunch of people in need of guidance, and I let them know the way it really is. All right, so, I mean, you ain't got, like, a, a secret nefarious boss or something you answered to you doing this all yourself? Well, I was going to go meet with what you may call a secret mm. nefarious boss, but That's I so decided long. to give up that journey as it 
was quite difficult and really the circumstances have changed oh send us send us <laughs> yeah who, who who is it mate uh, i never did get a name but i know somewhere up in the northwest of the forest there is some kind of crazy magical troll or something yeah all right we could, I, I mean we could go look for him, mate. yeah i believe that it is some greater plot to well i would prefer that you didn't go after them to be honest <clears throat> no nah, nah, we're all in on blowing up the earth at this point <laughs> yeah well, yeah that's a good idea yeah see? I, be <laughs> I, I believe they have it completely handled what with all of the meteors Oh, yeah, so but... you, you, you're afraid that we're going to mess it up That's if we go so up there, mate? Uh, I simply believe if you were to seek them out, it would only be to slow them down. All right. No, we want to help. How do we help? Oh, that is a more Wait, complicated there... question. I don't can, know, I just, uh, can I just ask you a question real quick here? Um, Dick Arrow, where are you going to shoot this guy? I was going to shoot you, Mike. I got to be honest. But, you know, hearing your story and whatnot... I don't see what you'd gain by killing me. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. Yeah, fair. It's kind of right. too. It's kind of too late. It's kind of too late, mate. Right, yeah, really... You seem, seem like an all right guy, Marco. I like. I Mike. feel like with my absence, this town would fall into absolute chaos. Not understanding how to deal with the changes the world is undergoing. How do you feel about the stagnant era? I uh, would prefer if the flesh beast didn't attack us. <laughs> well, don't you think it's at least a little bit necessary that some people die to the flesh? Yes, you know, I got, but I got, not I got us. A question. Similarly, in the vein of people dying, aren't you? Ain't you afraid the consulates just could come here and fucking kill you guys, mate? Oh, that's the opportunity which is so glorious about all of this on this radiant day. You see, the consulate is so busy dealing with the flesh meteor that it allowed me the opportunity to teach these fine folk and the way it really is. In which way is that? <laughs> Well, you see, the greater radiant principles state that we are in the stagnant era. Don't you think it's kind of weird how all around the world, things are kind of normal? Yeah. I don't know what I the guess. rest of the world is like. <laughs> well, I mean, sure. when you spend your life within civilization and you know that madness is everywhere around us, <clears throat> isn't it kind of weird how few insane people there really are? Yeah, that is kind of weird, mate. Really weird, Certainly man. you would think you would be running across even more catastrophic uh, things like flesh meteors from day to day, but we're simply not. The balance is all wrong. The universe is out of alignment. Simply primal has been pushed out in favor of opulence. We have to reject opulence and embrace primal. Or filth. So, I mean... Yeah, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess you're right. So the consulate, the consulate represents opulence right and you right. represent primal right oh bucko uh it you know i always mm. thought of it kind of like you That's know so constantly long. was kind of like a torch right and it kind of keeps the darkness at bay and everyone near the torch is kind of good and safe enough while the, you know everyone who kind of forsakes the light i guess pro proverbially speaking the light is going to eventually become an, an insane person right but hasn't it gone too far and we've forgotten our primal ways? That we evolved ourselves from vermin, climbing out of the primordial plane and becoming whole once more? To really reject those principles rejects the basis of humanity which opulence is built on. It makes no sense, Dick. Well... No, no, man. Uh, how, uh, We're supposed you, to look, evolve. You know, I I don't really give a shit about the philosophy, mate. You know, it's quite interesting, I'll admit. Uh, that said, how do we... write the balance... Okay, you know, which could be fun. I, I you know, it'd give me some purpose. And right now we're just kind of trying to get a boat off the island so that we don't get killed by the consulate, assuming that they survive. Uh, how do we do all of this without getting murdered by the for the horrible flesh beast that we're summoning? <laughs> yeah, no, we just don't want to die, Mike. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's How do we man. not just... die? <laughs> that's a shame to hear. Isn't that kind of a sad life, simply living to not die? Yeah. Well, what? Yeah, of course. We don't. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mike? How do we not die? <laughs> Mike, you're one to talk. You're literally in a disguise. Yeah, that's true. You're true to yourself for once. The only way that I can reach these think inferior you're doing mortal minds. Me when you're hiding your face. They would not listen to someone of my kind, and you know this is true. Yeah. I'm guiding them to the light. They feel safe amongst me. Oh, you're running. We chose the wrong path, huh, guys? <laughs> no, mate. 
I mean, he, it sounds like he's right. What do you mean yeah, he's come right? Come on, you gotta, you gotta commit, Chuck. Come on. He told us we're gonna die, and I know that's what Helmet wants to do, but I don't want to. Well, die. we're all gonna die someday. Uh, I mean, well, I got, I got a question, then, Mike. You, oh, yeah, all right, all right. Do, do you yourself plan on dying? No, I was simply stating that living specifically to not die is a shallow life. Well, yeah, it, you know, I agree, mate, which is why I'm I'm trying to figure out if there's a way for us to f slot ourselves in to this mission that you've got going on. Well, we could continue growing the swarm and converting even more people over to the primal origins of our evolution. Yeah, but won't the swarm, like, turn on us because we're not flesh, mo well, you know, dick is, but the rest of us aren't flesh monsters? Oi, I just thought Oi. of something, mate. Well, Mike, we'll help you, bruv. Okay, with whatever you need. Uh, in that sermon, mate, why don't you have those people give you their things? You give us some of those things. Oh, they've been giving me their teeth. Okay. <laughs> All right, something a bit more valuable than their teeth, mate. We use well, that. Well, actually, teeth is a uh, common form of currency, specifically <laughs> wisdom teeth and the, the molars in the back. Oh. All right. Well, you know, well, that's nice. give us some of those as payment for detonating them bombs. Uh, we don't tell the consulate what you just told us, mate. Oh, you they're know. they're going to be far too busy to deal with us, don't you think? Well, yeah, I just mean eventually, mate. You know, assuming we ain't dead. In well, a, a I'm year. hoping by then we can grow in enough strength that we can hold our own and they won't want to kill all the people here. But what is stopping the flesh beast from turning on us, even if we do help you? We're embracing the flesh beast. Don't you understand that? I don't Why want to be tore us? apart like Mike, kill friend Mike around was. you. Mike, Chuck, are there any Mike, flesh beasts here? Mike, yes, you. You know, look, they ain't here yet. That's why they there ain't any, mate. Also, you know, I embraced <laughs> the filth pretty fucking hard, and they tried to kill me, mate. They did. There were demon dogs trying to. I mean, they 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 got kill friend. They simply do not understand, and here you will find a home. Haven't you always wanted to be accepted into a community, Dick? Yeah, but I mean, this is just a shitty fucking fish. Everyone Mike, tells you that you're Mike, not normal. I believe in brimstone, and that's shaping stuff to help humanity, okay? Not just joining the filth, but finding well, a way for the filth to help us. Mm. Quite the education you have there, Flaherty, but... Uh... Yeah, what can the filth do for me? Meat. <laughs> I'm not sure that you're ready not what to the enter a debate do. with me. <laughs> okay. Mike, we I don't even to... know if you've got a mouth. Mike, all right, here's what we should do, mate. All right, this has been an enlightening conversation. Uh, you give your sermon. Uh, you give us some of them teeth. And then, you know, if you need anything done afterwards, we could talk. And then we can get that shit done, mate. All right? Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm not ripped apart. <laughs> we, we, we out of here. Mike, we ain't ready to die, mate. I will say that, bro. We just don't well, want to be ripped apart and killed. Well, then where are you going? To not uh, be ripped apart. I mean, yeah, we came we, to find you, Mike. We came to find on, you. We were searching for you, mate. Well, here I am, and now you're running away once more. No, we're not. That's not what we're you saying. We just don't want to be ripped from apart. Us, you twat. Where are you going to go? Us. Listen to logic for one moment. Excuse me, miss. Are you listening? <laughs> oh, I'm about to set him on fire. My, don't God set him on fire. Do, 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 do it, do it, do it, do it. Well then, if you're all so afraid of the consulate catching you for your dastardly crimes against humanity, then wouldn't the safest place in the world be amongst those who reject the consulate? I feel like this isn't getting across. I don't want to be tore apart by a flesh dog. <laughs> and I feel like that you're not addressing this. I mean, I'd My... be okay with it, but like as long as I could like fight it first, you know? My following has nothing to fear from these flesh dogs as you mention it. Boy. Yes, That's why? Boring. Well, because they have my radiance to guide them. So you think... God, Truly, this. I am wait, one wait, wait, of wait. them. Wait, 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 wait. So your presence prevents them from coming here then? I believe in a dire situation, if there were not a great number of these creatures, as they have not reached true sentience yet, that I could persuade them to leave my followers alone. <sighs> All right. All right, listen. We're, let's listen to your sermon, mate. You know, I'm going to say something, Mike. 
you talked about how when you took over this farmer's body that it like inspired you to become human man and you know what separates humans from everyone else it's love and having a soul and if you really love us you'll make sure that a flesh dog doesn't rip me apart <laughs> I will do my absolute best to make sure a flesh dog doesn't rip you apart, though there may need to be some concessions made along that path. <laughs> well, I like hot dogs and soda, fuck? so I'm okay with that. <laughs> well, no, I speak more specifically of, of following the path of filth and removing your teeth. Come on, guys, they got concessions in there. <laughs> Let's get popcorn. <laughs> I'm a teeth, uh, but I need those. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think I need my teeth anymore. You could maybe take them out. I'll go inside. Yeah. Take your folks, mate. I want the concessions. <laughs> Very well. We'll see you about doing that later. Yeah, you okay, should have most so, of them. Just so we're on the same page, not shooting this guy, right? Yeah, we're not shooting him, mate. Okay, right. There's okay. no fucking point. There's <laughs> no, no point. Deck, yeah, right. deck, hang back. Hang back, Dick. Just all right, talk, all right, please. all right. Realizing we'll, we'll catch what up with you, Mike. Okay. I'm going to go back out. There's no, there's no popcorn at all. That's so long. <laughs> Where's the concessions? We uh, talking about anything interesting over here? Mike, What's I ain't going to kill you. That's me promise. Mike, all sweetie, right, we're you, talking about fine. none of your fucking business. So go inside, okay? I feel like a lot of this is my business on holy sacred ground by the Church of the Divine Radiance. Hey, Mike, Mike. you're telling us to trust you. Why don't you trust us, man? <laughs> he makes it a good goes point both there. ways. Trust yeah, is a two-way street, two way. Mike, yeah, and I'm getting is, real yeah. sick of your lack of trust. Mike, I ain't gonna kill you, mate. I won't let him kill you. Mike, we got this Very far. Well. We're not gonna turn on you. We blew up two I bombs. Can... <laughs> Listen, just because you shot that old woman in the back of the head while she wasn't looking doesn't mean he's gonna do the same thing to you. <laughs> I don't believe Dick will kill me, and even if he did, I would simply become a martyr for the cause. Well, <laughs> you guys discuss what you need to. I'll be inside. All right. Or is it flower to mate? Dick, we gotta fucking kill him. No, mate! No. I don't think we it'll do anything. It won't there's do no, anything. There's no fucking point, flower He's gonna it's bring the, about the end. He already did. It sounds bro. like look, it's already here, mate. It sounds like he's like a cashier and we're wanting to talk to the CEO. There's no <laughs> way he's there's no way he's <laughs> wait, not wait. making the bombs. What he's not I, I don't think so. I, there's of course no, he's there, making them. You think he killed fucking 200 people per bomb and put them all in a pile and made those piles? He makes it, people embrace the filth until they become one big filthy fucking pile. And we've been tricked into blowing it up twice. No, we, did you see his true form? Mate, there's no, there's no way. He didn't have the time to make it. Maybe we should make mate. it a nice three, you know? Just find another one, blow it up. Why like, not? You know, I do have a plan, though, mate. Come over here. Let's get a little bit further away from the church while we discuss this. <laughs> All right. Like, look, we got two choices here, bro. All right. We yeah. we we essentially become criminals, super criminals. You We're could already say, criminals. <laughs> We're already oh, yeah. super oh, criminals. Well, uh, oh, I'm saying yeah, we, feel embrace, like we've done a lot of we, yeah. we we embrace the lifestyle. You know, we trust Radiant Mike to keep us from being eaten. Uh, actually, we got three paths. All right. This is the first one, though. All right. You know, we we essentially align ourselves with Radiant Mike, which, okay. which I'm not opposed to, mate. Honestly, because we can. Oh, I'm deck, but I'm we can we can't. We can't go anywhere else, mate. Two, we just fucking leave. Yeah. All right. And we go we go on the lamb. All right. right. Three, we go kill that fucking troll. Mm. And we stop whatever's happening if he's the one in control. All right. Those are our options. I don't, I don't think we're killing that troll, man. <laughs> All right. What about four? Leave, leave the, the island. <laughs> we tell the consulate what's going on and where Mike is. And the troll. They're just gonna fucking kill us, though, man. No, you're right. right. Scrap that. I don't want to. Uh, they, yeah. they, they, they'll be like, "All right, well, thanks for your service." But and actually, they though, fuck. they might not know where that troll is, and if we offer to go kill it, I don't know, dog. Maybe. I miss Gilead. There's no way they're gonna let us. <laughs> there's no way they're gonna forgive us for what happened. I don't think there's anything we could do, mate. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, I the, mean, the only the only way they could forgive us, mate, is if we go and kill a troll, and then they read our minds, and they're like, oh, well, they went and stopped it. You know, maybe they don't fucking kill us at that point. Maybe. Well, maybe. what if what if we just said it wasn't us? Because they they, you, they we, have they, truth serums. They're gonna drip. Yeah, it. but what if but what if we say that we were brainwashed into believing that it was us? Because we can't lie to them. They got the fucking snakes. They smell the lawyers, man. Yeah. They'll know we're lying. They'll know we're lying. 
We no, but what if we say that we were like brainwashed into believing that we did it by other guys that did it? So we think that we did it, but kill we didn't. The, the, the fact kill that friend. we're having this conversation right now, Mike, they're gonna know that we were conspiring. And we I, have, they, uh, yeah, see the memory of this. Yeah, this is, they're gonna know about this conversation. I'm going inside for ah, fuck's right. sake. All right. Wait, 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 wait Hold on, wait, hold wait, on. Wait, wait. Oh, come here, come here, come here. What? Come here. We gotta wait, choose. We can't. Yeah, we we always do this where we talk, <laughs> yeah, we and got, then we, we don't come to a resolution. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just Mate, making my on, head hurt. Honestly, I'm look. I'm gonna say I'm for joining Radio Mike. I see, you know, in essentially kind of using him as a shield to hopefully not get killed eventually by the consulate or killing the troll mate. I got nothing to lose. We can't kill that. I, I this is what we do. Okay. All right. This is what we do. I, I think, I think we go with Radiant Mike, and then if things start getting a little hairy, we rediscuss. Mate, how, how come you think we can't kill a troll, mate? I mean, because it's Listen, he's, he's probably pretty powerful, there's no, man. Yeah, there's but absolutely look. no way I'm giving Mike my fucking teeth, okay? Just give him no, a tooth. Happening. I'm not doing it. Just give him one. Uh, I'd rather mate, kill a troll. Mate, Chuck, think about it this way, mate. Remember that fucking horrible cosmic thing that we fought with the arms? We we killed something that didn't even have a body, mate. I mean, if you want, I could steal all of the teeth and I could convince the whole swarm to turn on Radiant Mike. I can invade all of their minds. I am I think capable he uses of that. the teeth to control them. I can also do that. Uh, I, I'm I don't, not giving him my teeth. I don't want to do that, mate. <laughs> I don't want to do that, mate. Think of all the power I could wield if I controlled all those minds. They're I not going to listen to you, mate. They won't I'm have not a for choice. killing the troll. But I'm also up for biding our time until we can know for certain how to kill the troll. Well, what's important, mate, <sighs> is none of you mentioned killing the troll to Mike because I'm pretty sure Mike needs the troll to carry on with what he's doing, all right? Aye, mm -hmm. aye. All right. It. What do you think, Helmet? Yeah, mate. Listen, I don't listen. I got here yesterday, so um, <laughs> I'm new. <laughs> whatever, it's my first day, mate. So um, whatever Boy, you think is best. You ever fought a troll before, mate? Uh, don't, you want, don't you want to die to a troll? Doesn't that uh, sound yeah, great? that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I would like that. That'd be a pretty good death. Trolls are like uh, it's a bit now. Of a... Here, here. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me just chime in here for a minute. Um, do we think that? Stopping the troll is really the best course of action. <laughs> oh, see, mean? trolls are Tell like fuck. huge. Right? What like... do you mean? Yeah, they're huge. Yeah, okay. It's a troll. We can't kill a troll. <laughs> yeah, why try? Troll? So why try? I mean, why? We don't. I don't think we have to stop it. Man, I Mate, like kill fuck look, a lot I'm, more I'm, now. I, look, us killing the troll is our only hope for getting pardoned by the consulate. <laughs> So okay, if, but if it's if oh, it swings the consulate point. way, yeah. if it swings the consulate so way, and you, they end up fucking wiping out Mike anyway, right? We ain't got nothing. We got no bargaining chip. Right, but, but what if we? But uh, okay, fair. I understand. But what if we just didn't do it? I don't even <laughs> think. Here's the thing. I think we could kill the troll uh eventually but i don't think we can now because we're one party member down. Let, we're like three party let, members down. <laughs> let's let's bite our time. Get stronger. Yes. Try and find Gilliard. Yes. And then and we just leave the troll pretend alone. Pretend exactly. to be in Mike's cult for mate, now. Mate, that's a good idea. We should yes. fucking find Gilliard, mate. Yes, we should find Gilliard, and <laughs> oh then. Oh my god. When he, <laughs> and then we'll tell him we're just pretending to be cult. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do. We find Gilliard. I could call we... him right now if you want. Yeah, mate, do it. That's a good fucking idea, mate. I but hold on be, um, before we do that. If I tell Gilliard where we're at, you know how Gilliard be. <laughs> he could what be all mean? buddied up with the consulate already. He could, <laughs> Gilliard might just tell them to kill us. <laughs> Nate, tell him we're going undercover, <laughs> and 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 we we're gonna kill the troll. I Gilliard might be with the consulate already and he might be he might just tell them he might tell them what we Wait. did all right here's what we do then mate all right because he can only be one of two places one he's past the blockade or with them or two he's in this fucking town so we go listen to that sermon and then we look for him in the town let's ask and around let's ask yeah. around. no i like that we'll look for him on foot and if we can't find him then logically he's with the consulate anyway yeah yeah 
All right, let's listen to this fucking sermon. Okay. I'm ready to sit down. It's probably walk fucking it all over by now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's only just getting start. Walks into the door. The Walks sermon is the over. Oh. <laughs> the, the crowds of people begin leaving the room, nodding their heads, contemplating the wise words that Radiant Mike has shared. Oh, what a great sermon, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just I'm, I'm, well, I'm just gonna stop like one of the people like hey what would I miss <laughs> um you can stop one of his uh closest disciples okay as he's walking out <laughs> it's moon uh, moon it's, it's moon, moon. <laughs> every game uh, and what do you say to him so, hey what did I miss man Oh, just some of the greatest <laughs> things that I've ever heard said ever. Yeah, it was incredible. He really expands in my mind. Yeah, but wow, like what? But like what? Wife what? and kid are gonna be so glad to hear about this. Okay, all right, thank you. What's your name? My name's Dirty Jesse. I, they call me that now because I'm rising the ranks. Very soon, I'm gonna be a hazard. Okay. Thank you, Dirty Jesse. <laughs> I think we should all try and be a little more like Dirty Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> hey Mike, good sermon. Oh, it went absolutely fantastic. They are truly convinced by my words as I was always, as I was able to prophesy this event from the very beginning. Okay. Well. Listen, Mike, I just wanted to apologize. I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. That's all. Yeah. We just I've just to been a wee around. bit protective of Dick and my boys. We've been through a lot. Well, you know what? I accept your apology. There we go. And then he quickly looks behind him to make sure Dick isn't pulling a gun at that moment because it would be too poetic. <laughs> Dick I'm shows being his serious, hand. you twat. <laughs> no gun. No gun. <laughs> Man, wow. all right. You shoot an old lady in the back of the head one fucking time when she's not looking after you distract her into looking down there. And then all of a sudden, you're the guy who shoots people in the back of the fucking head, eh? Yeah, Look, I, Mike, I guess, consider I guess this the are. start of us trusting each other, okay? Well, uh, that sounds fantastic to me. We've helped you thus far. We might as well continue to do it. Oh, wait, mate, speaking of which, uh, you see Gilead at all, mate? Gilead? Yeah. That uh, disgruntled old man. No, mate, he was the fucking young guy in the, the, the oh, trim yes. lad, yeah. He definitely acted like an old man. No, yeah, I haven't yeah. seen him. You haven't seen him at all? I mean, how long you been here, mate? I traveled north days before the first meteor fell, and I haven't seen him since I was with you all. All right. All right. Well, hey, what can I help you with? Have hey, you Mike, come what's around up with to... all those rats? Oh, well, filth tends to attract rats, and they are just eating our garbage. That makes sense to me. <laughs> ah, the circle of life. Yeah. I get that. <laughs> I mean, I like to think of them as holy creatures myself. Yeah, they're all right, mate. What Wait, where are the rats uh, at? Yeah, if you stamp them a the bunch, statue. they are definitely holy creatures. Oh, I see him. What kind of statue is that anyways? That looks kind of familiar. Oh, that's, um, we haven't been able to replace it yet. This church used to stand in service to the poet. You can oh, see him yeah. standing there, what with his heretical book and the wasps flying around him. Yeah, what's up with that guy anyways? Who is the poet? A poet says that your fates are all predetermined, and it's simply whether or not he casts his ire on you and uh, allows you a place in his grand script. Cool. I don't think it's that cool, Chuck. You don't have to play <laughs> along. I mean, I'm uh, just more like cool. All right, then. <laughs> all, all right, Chuck. I mean, you know, how about some of them teeth? <laughs> well, I'm we deserve what. Some of the we deserve something, right, mate? At least. I am unclear on what's going on right now. Are you joining the church? Or yeah, we're are sticking you... around. Yeah, we ain't got nowhere to go, mate. This is kind of where we just kind of traveled to find you, and here we are, so let's just let it ride, baby. So are you joining the church or just staying in town? We're joining uh, the church. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, well, we're joining the church. I don't think that I'm going to believe you unless you <sighs> let me get at those teeth. God. Wait, how many teeth do you need, mate? Well, at least one to prove your loyalty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this All is right. tough, but this is okay. So, well, line up if you want to join the church. 
Wait, uh, how about we? Can we get like a day to think about it at least, mate? I mean, I'm yeah, down. Just, you beat you beat me. You know. I am confused and don't quite understand what further convincing you would need. <laughs> Given I, you have been at the ground zero of all of these events, you have seen what I prophesized, <clears throat> and you understand that the world is out of balance. Yeah. All right. I gotta go outside and piss. Does anyone else need to? <laughs> I got. I oh, really. I, no. Yeah. I need to piss too. I gotta. I gotta do that bad. Oh, hello, everyone. <laughs> Mike. Mike. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Boy, give me give me a couple hours to talk to him, mate. <laughs> I, look, I think they I think they're a little uh, they're afraid of commitment. Are, are they, these are supposed to be here. Yeah, they're supposed to be. Yeah, here. They, they're kind of like scattered and leaving. But I'm right. I'm gonna okay. focus on the okay. interior conversation first. Okay, okay. Give okay. me give me give me a day to convince them. This I mean, this is our only option, mate. I think they're just getting cold feet. Well then, uh, good old Dicky boy, if you'd come forth and I could pull a tooth for you. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Oh boy. Uh oh. Well, I, wait. Hold on a second, Mike. I mean, I got the eye in me back. Ain't that better than just giving you one of me teeth? Your hesitation is concerning me. I thought <laughs> that you were embracing the filth. I did, mate. And look. Well, then, what are you so scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. Let's do it, mate. Oh. Fuck it, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate. Kneel before my radiance. <laughs> <laughs> Radiant Mike reaches his hand forward towards your open mouth to the ah. back of your mouth, grabs one tooth, and slightly twists it, and it very easily comes out of your soggy gums. Oh, yeah. You barely they're, even they're, feel anything. They're very gross. Yeah. That wasn't so hard there now, was it, dick boy? No, mate. What boy? <laughs> now that's a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Dick right. boy and you, pussy man. Give me, give, give me some time to uh, talk to him, mate. I certainly hope that you're gonna stick around and truly join. I believe yeah. that you would be a fantastic addition to the swarm. Thanks, mate. I mean, I've already done way more than the rest of these guys. I guarantee that. Oh, oh for sure. I would immediately promote you to hazard. <laughs> Wait, what's the highest rank? Radiant. Is it, what's wh how high is hazard it's pretty up there all right i mean i know it's one step above dirty mate well we don't have a hazard yet oh all right Think okay about it yeah i will mate i will hazard dick <laughs> other way around i can't say it but is say this one it. joining i can't Helmet, you joining, mate? Helmet! Helmet! Let a phone oh, uh, yeah, mate. Sorry. Uh, what's up? Are you gonna give me one of your teeth? Oh, no <laughs> way! I, I, I need those! Well, if you say so, but you don't really need as many as you think you do. Yeah, well, you know, you're welcome to try and reach in here and get one, but I don't even think this thing opens. He, like, kind of, like, jiggles his helmet around a little bit. Oh, truly, you are melded to opulence. So sad to see. Dick yeah. will uh, rip out one of Killfuck's teeth. <laughs> ah, what the? Oh. This is the back, one of the back ones, and then he'll toss it to Radiant Mike. Thank you very I much. Stopped you if I could, but fine. <laughs> yeah, you can't because you ain't got no hands, babe. <laughs> uh. well, All right. Have a good day then. Yeah, mate. Yeah, you too. You trying to have a conversation up here with anyone? Chuck or Flaherty? I no. was uh, yes. I was one came to outside to, to avoid pulling a tooth and walked into the crowd. Well, I was one to <laughs> actually. I'll talk to the crowd. Uh, hey, we can, we can... hey guys, I'll I'll talk, Just make small talk with with Dirty Jesse. Why not? <laughs> What's up, Dirty Jesse? <laughs> hey there, how's it going? <laughs> hey, did he take one of your teeth too? Oh, yes, he's gotten a, quite a, a few of them out of the back of my mouth. I'm so happy he did, too. We were so uh, screwed before he showed up. Is that right? Well, uh, why does he take your teeth? Well, because it's one of the purest forms of our connection to opulence, of course. <laughs> you, what did you do before all this? Uh, Well, you know, I just had to spend a whole bunch of time taking care of my wife. Okay. Now I got really worried once these demons started showing up that, you know, maybe I wouldn't be able to do it alone. 
Yep. What'd you, wh what's up with your wife now? Where's your wife now? Oh, she lives in a different town. <laughs> oh, is that so? So okay. she's not part of the whole cult thing? Well, she'll definitely be joining up the next time that I see her. Oh, she'll definitely be joining up because she's definitely real. Yes, absolutely. Right, okay. <laughs> Look, this is a good joke and everything, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if, you're, if your mind has been invaded. What do you mean by that? Do you check? Is, can you just check him? Uh. Reed's abilities. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't think I have anything for that. Um, Wait, can you above board? Can you like sanity shield him, and that might help him? Mm, no, he's. I'm thinking uh, if he has anything that he could I potentially don't think I have use. Anything for this. What's I mean, the out I, I of mean, character maybe, application could, could of a sanity I just, shield? Maybe just. Look at him, and then since I, you know, I don't know if there's any physical traits someone would have if their mind is... Uh, you would need occult forensic as a skill check, which you don't have. Don't have, yeah. Well, good luck with your wife. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know the guy thank you very thing. much. Uh, good luck, just... Dirty Jesse. I'm, I'm sure you'll make hazards soon. Oh, I sure hope so. Hey, Jesse, can I have a tooth? I only give my teeth to the radiant bike. I'll get, I'll pass it on to him. I don't think that I believe you. Why? <laughs> well, why wouldn't I simply just go bow before him and allow him to pry it from my mouth himself? You know, sometimes in life, you just got to take a chance. <laughs> You know what I mean? Wow, do you, th you think we're weird? Listen to you. <laughs> okay. I didn't say you were weird. I did the bombs. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I did 9-11. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck, listen. We need to find teeth from somewhere, not our mouths. Look, Flaherty, <laughs> let's go talk over here. Or just... Hey, What are you Clem? looking at? <laughs> oh, they need teeth. Yeah, they... Oh. Okay, you guys have your chat. Look, uh, Flaherty. All cards on the table. I sometime invade mines. <laughs> oh. Right. What and do you mean you invade mines? I have... I'm capable of... I thought you just had impeccable Liz. No. Well, yeah. It, you know, it's a bit of both. So, it's... I can... I can do these rituals. I've been studying these rituals where I can... Is sort of incept and implant ideas into people's mind where they, they think that they had come up with it, right? Fuck off. No way. Yeah, it's true. This whole time. This whole time. Wow. Yep. You remember Gilliard? Wait. You haven't done it to me, have you? No. Gilliard actually wanted that whole bomb thing to happen before I convinced him to help you. <laughs> incredible, really? right? Yeah, incredible, right? And I bet you, you made him... You know. Mm hmm I sure Were did. you two? Mm, no, that was all him. Oh. And also didn't happen. Remember? Interesting. Right. So what I'm saying is uh, if Radiant Mike is capable of what I'm capable of, he could use teeth, anything from us, to invade our mind. Right, because he needs something that belongs to us. That's right. Yeah. A tooth would be perfect. So if we, so if we give him someone else's tooth. Well, yes, but if we give him someone else's tooth and it doesn't work on us, then he's gonna know. But also, Wait, but how, but how would he know if it doesn't work on us if we act like it did? Here's my concern. I'm wondering if he's getting all these teeth so he can convince everyone to lay in a pile and die. <laughs> well, that's what I think too. But listen, if you did something to me, right? Yeah. What do you need? Like a tooth or or hair or something? Yeah. And and then how would you know if it worked? They would just do whatever it is I told them to do. Right. So if I pretended, mm -hmm. then you wouldn't know. But how would how would you know what it is he wants you to do? You wouldn't know. Well, Dick's given him a tooth, so we just copy Dick. <laughs> you want to you want to copy Dick? <laughs> right. We ask Dick what he wants to do. 
And then that's obviously what Mike wants to do. And yeah, then we but, do it. Yeah, but Dick, like, is is dying. <laughs> He's. I don't think we want to be like Dick. Well, no, but when Dick dies, obviously, then we bail, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Where are we even going to get a tooth in such short notice? There must be somebody in town we can knock out and take a tooth. I've, they're expect mm, they're I, prob they're so probably long. expecting us to do it right now. We just told them we joined. And we, we just told them we were going outside to to pee. There's not much time, is there? No. I single somebody out from the um. Oh no, because then they'll. Look, Everyone's a snitch. Look, look, look. What about this? You give me two of your teeth, right? So that way... Well, I have to give you teeth. Now listen I to like me. I like my teeth. I just listen. You give me two of yours, so that way if you get controlled, at least one of us will still have our wits about us and be able to stop it. What do you mean? If you have your tooth... If Mike's got your tooth and you can do the thing that he can do, then you'll fuck me anyway. No. What? That's what I'm saying. You give me one of your teeth... And then oh, I'll you say, want to yes, use exactly, mind. yes. I'll give you one of my teeth, and then if I notice you're being mind-controlled, I'll still have my mind, and I can stop it. Why don't we just get... Oh, God, I don't want to give him my teeth. I don't know how we're going to get out of this. I mean, we could always leave, but then we're kind of back to with the consulate and all that. Right, okay. But what if he tries to take it out your mouth? Well, well he's not going to do that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but you won't have any tooth. Mi Listen, you're going to have to pull a tooth. Oh, you're right. You're going to have to have one missing. Yep, you're right. Okay. Okay, do it. Gets on knees. <laughs> <laughs> Opens <Okay>. mouth. <laughs> but he puts a hand in and grabs one of his like back teeth and fucking yanks. Well, Chuck I... Chuck flosses, so it, <laughs> he's got some strong gums. You are going to need pliers or something. I was thinking of a different floss. Why do I need pliers? Looks <laughs> looks over to rocks. Oh god. My uh, sister-in-law is a dentist. She pulls teeth and she beat me in an arm wrestling from how much force you need to put in to pull teeth out. She beat okay. you in arm wrestling? Yeah. I have, Your sister I have, like, did? I have a lot of... law yeah. I got plus Huge muscle. Huge L. Man. Huge L. It was years ago I could beat her now. He's yoked, bro. But yeah, like <laughs> her, her, her tooth pulling arm is like a crab claw, like bigger than her other arm. Okay, but <laughs> Flatty's, Flatty's strong. I okay. Pull a tooth. Well, you need leverage, like like grip. You need like pliers or something. Okay, I'll use my dagger. <laughs> oh, no, that'll go horribly. Oh wrong. god! What, let me just, I can just pinch his tooth and pull it, man. There's no way. If I see that dagger, I'm not gonna do this. I don't, I don't All right. Wanna, well, at least let me. Die. At least let me try and. <laughs> the, at least let me try and roll for it. The reason you know, Radiant Mike could do it to Dick is because Dick's gums are like so decayed and awful from his filth embracing that it just kind of fell out. Yeah, you don't know. I might, I might pull this off. If you roll, I don't even think you could roll that high to pull a tooth out. With, with I have, I have plus three to muscle. Mm. That's a lot. Twenty three. Who? Thirteen. But I'll, I'll give it to you if you get oh. a thirteen. Sure. All right. Gets okay. on knees, opens mouth. Shit, that was close. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> ah! that was it's close. not coming out. Ah! You got your gums are immaculate. Why don't like, you take why, to... why don't you don't you take a piece of your hair and tie it around my tooth and we'll <laughs> <laughs> And we'll tie the other end on a rock and we'll throw it. I mean you can't have you can't have Riz without a perfect smile, right? Look, we're just gonna have to tell Mike the bad news that we've got amazing dental and he can't eat pull a tooth. What if he wants it though? You heard all the followers. They all have. I think you have to. They all have their teeth missing. Parts of it, at least. I'm confused. Wait, why were you not having Ready and Mike do it? Because the it idea, because... Right, the idea is that I will pull two of my own teeth. He will pull one tooth. I will give him my tooth, mm -hmm. and that way Chuck is never giving Ready and Mike a tooth. Yes. Okay. Because Chuck knows how these mind control rituals that... work. That's the plan. Because Chuck knows that if he has a tooth, he can control your mind. Yeah. So I was going to pony up two teeth, 
but we need to pull one of Chuck's teeth so it looks like he lost a tooth. Like, if we want to just, like, expedite this and that's what you want to do, you can run into town, buy a set of, like, pliers. No, because if, if we have time to run into town, I'm I'm taking someone's tooth. I'm beating the fuck out of a stranger. <laughs> I'm not giving him my. If, oh. if I have time, I'm. I'm. I'm okay. taking. Okay. Well, then I guess if you want to. That's what Chuck this, and Flaherty go into town and jump a street. You, you can yeah. run into town, which is not far, or one of the stragglers who sat down by a tree and hasn't followed with the crowd leaving the sermon. You can beat the shit out of them, and then they will probably be able to identify you later. Yeah, we don't want to do All that. Right. Unless or, you want to beat him to death. We could kill him. Yeah, I think. <laughs> no, I think we kill him. I think we kill him. You, I'm actually. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Chuck, Chuck, I've got a bad idea. Uh, hold on, hold on, look hold at, on. <laughs> Let's talk about that. <laughs> okay, so, okay. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> look at look at that weedy little fucker by the tree, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> we, yeah, we take sorry. his teeth, I send him to dust, right? So he's gone, and we hand those over. Yeah. I get. I mean, there's a whole crowd of people right there. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. We get okay, away from the group. Okay, it's some guy. Okay. We'll lure him away from the group. So you want to beat him to death and then burn him? Well, I mean, we could bury him or something. I don't know. Look, if we don't kill him, he's gonna tattle. Unless you trick his mind. I could, but I need something. Then he doesn't you. remember ever giving us a tooth. Yeah. I don't. That's not really how it works, exactly. I would have oh. to. Uh, I can convince him that I can't like erase memories, man. I'm not God. I can, but I can convince him to do something. If you want, I tell you what. Why don't you go over there, seduce him a bit, run your hand through his hair, get a piece of his hair, bring it back to me, and I'll convince him that he has a getting beaten up by you fetish, <laughs> and that he wants it to happen. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay we're also going to assume that this tree is a little bit further away from the church so it's like you're not worried about the screams but i don't okay. want to like have a whole separate map for it right now so he'll be he'll be up somewhere in the corner just sort of uh sitting there staring at the sky contemplating looking off in the direction of the new holy meatball which is has spawned today hey there handsome why are you looking so glum <laughs> Uh, oh, hello there, sister. I saw you in the church today. Were you thinking of joining? I was thinking of joining. Wait, how are we going to get our perhaps, teeth? <laughs> perhaps you could tell me a wee bit about it. <laughs> okay, all right. We're doing it. Oh, Sorry. well, you see a radiant mic Do you mind there. if I sit? Do you mind if I sit? Oh, yes. Oh, of course you could sit right Just beside me. sit right here next to you. There you go. Oh, you've got such lovely hair. Do you mind if I run my hand through your hair? You're... You're being quite forward, but I, I suppose the melding of flesh is <laughs> one of the highest forms of piety. That it is, that it is. She's gonna fucking yank a hair. <laughs> you you pull his hair. Yeah. And then what? Oh nice luscious locks you've got. Oh, you're just I'm pulling gonna... out his hair. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh What was that for? Oh, I feel like keeping mm. this as a token for That's later. so long. Like, uh, uh, did Mike send you up to this? this I'm so confused. You Seems like just, something he'd have you do. I find myself uncontrollably attracted to you. Are we supposed <laughs> to not have hair now? No, you can have hair. I just wanted to keep this one. Okay. To remember you by. Until oh. the next sermon. I see. Uh, I'm Flaherty, by the way. Oh, my name's Jum. <laughs> Jum. Jum D. LaFriend. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jum. Mm, that's so Maybe long. I'll see you later. I hope so, but I won't smell you later. I have no sense of smell whatsoever. It's my only downside. That's so attractive. R She's going to really? get up and leave. <laughs> Did you like, get the goods? His, his, name's, his, name's, his name's Jum de la Friend. It's the stupidest name I've ever heard. All right. Hey, is this uh, your boyfriend? No, no. This is uh, just one of my friends who's also thinking of joining. Hey, Flaherty, oh. why don't you go run off with your new friend? Uh, you, you know, you should know when... You'll know what to do. <laughs> You'll know well, when it... Uh... <laughs> now, now that we're alone, he'll throw an arm over your shoulder. 
<laughs> Perhaps we can finish melding. Scurry back here so I can be alone. You know, perhaps we should, but maybe we can go somewhere a bit more private. I'll put on my ritual. Oh, oh my well, wouldn't we want the whole swarm to see our progeny? <laughs> Eventually, yes. <laughs> but well, I, I understand if you're not, like, ready yet. I, I don't feel like I'm quite ready to publicize my melding. It was definitely hard for me to join the church at first too, there's a lot of weird, I mean, I mean like all the filth stuff is kind of strange. Like people rubbing Listen their up, vomit. Chum, She's like nodding chum, and stroking his face. Jum. <laughs> Nothing would arouse you more than if a tall Irish woman, Scottish, whatever, who knows the difference, <laughs> with red hair just beat you up until you are missing some teeth. You want this to happen. It is your life's goal it is all you desire you want this so bad she's so hot isn't she i assume you're casting secret to talk to him secret no this is just a part of the, the ritual i've been planning the mine now i'm going to do the inception i think i'm out of range gets closer <laughs> <laughs> Crawls on his hands and knees to be with the rain. This, this whole session is so fucked up. <laughs> For Inception, you shouldn't have to be that close. Uh, maybe it's just not. It's a, yeah, I know it says range forty, but it's just it's not. He's not popping up. It might be line of sight related. No, because no, I'm picking up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Yikes! Uh, again, okay. So that doesn't necessarily mean failure, but what are you trying to incept? Um, did I roll a zero? Cause I have two with with this armor. Um, you rolled a one, and you have minus one to sanity. Yeah, if you hover over the two, it shows you where it all came from. Oh yeah, cause I cause I have plus two mind with this uh, chuck attire. Yeah, that also puts you quite close to dying. <sighs> when I got if you do any, I know I can't do anything. I have to. I have to rest. Oh, an alert on his stream. I know. But still, what would the goal of the Inception be? To uh, get beat up by her is a, <laughs> is, is, a, is, a, is a fetish thing. What? That's the that's the, it's the, yeah. It, so she is she's she seduced him to the point I where and, and now this is a fetish for, of him. He wants to get beat up by her so bad. All right. Well, even mm. though. His mind That's check so was lower. Wrong. He has already been charismaed enough to want to go somewhere alone with Flaherty. The idea is in his mind. He's not so sure he agrees with it. He's never really had a let this redhead stomp on me like she's my mommy kind of fetish before. But he's... The thought is still somewhere deep in his mind as this roundabout way to get his teeth. Flaherty and Jum Della Friend uh, venture off into the nearby forest. Then what? Uh, I am going to seduce him <laughs> and I'm going to be really rough yeah. and smack his face around until they get two teeth. There we go. <laughs> yep. You're going to have to smack him pretty fucking hard. That's what he wants. Oh, I am going to yeah. smack I mean, look at her, man. <laughs> look at those biceps. At this point, just say you knocked him out. Yeah, I'm just going to knock him out. <laughs> I'm thinking of several things. I'm going to knock him out before it escalates. And then uh, next time I see him, I'll make him think that we did the deed. Well, here, here's a... If this is a 25 or lower, there's a problem. 25 or lower, there's a problem. All right. Sick. Radiant Mike did specifically mention uh, wisdom teeth and the teeth in the back being more relevant. If you keep that in mind, those mm -hmm, are going to mm -hmm. be some of the hardest teeth to get out, which is also why it was so hard to, you know, pull them out of Chuck's mouth. 
but given all of your extensive effort to luring an unsuspecting, devout holy man uh, into the forest and to convince him he wants to be brutalized by a dami mommy, you are mm -hmm. able to knock him unconscious. The hits to knock him unconscious don't knock his teeth out, at which no. point I assume you're just going to start stomping on his face. <laughs> Or no, something. Well, I was gonna try and extract them. Okay. How, however, it is done, I will grab. I will wrap wrap my hair around the tooth many times and then yank them out one by one. Cool. How many teeth are you yanking out? Two. Two. This won't work. This, I feel like I'm going along with it, and also it's so far-fetched, but you've put in so much work. Look, if you want me to just Here. curb stomp him, I will. Like, whatever needs to do yeah, to get these dies, teeth out. Yeah, if he just dies, he dies. If he, if he dies, dies, he dies, dies, man. I think... I think that's where we're at with it. I think you're going to have to kill him. Uh, I kill him. Well, I kill him. I dead. do it. Rip Bozo. <laughs> Pack okay. Watch. Jump to friend down. All you wanted was his teeth. You, what do you do with the body? I, I <laughs> fucking, I burn it to cinders. <laughs> How far away from the church do you go to Beyond do all claim. this? Where, where are we in the woods? We, we went into like a. Yeah, if you go up north, there's like a forest. You could. Yeah, I'm. I dig a hole and I put him in it and I just, but I burn it, and then I bury the the ashes. It's a long, long, long piss we're taking. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. gone for I'm gone for hours. <laughs> you definitely are gone for a long time. Uh, people will see the smoke coming up through the forest. Um, there's no smoke. There's no smoke. How is there no smoke? Because I'm I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn it into lava. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna make I'm gonna turn it into molten tiles, and I'm gonna just <sighs> liquefy him. Okay, how much? How much? <laughs> Is your wealth cost of that? Nothing. Kindle is two wealth. It's two wealth. That's not bad. You just got a bunch. Whoops, other way. Alright. Rewarded Thanks. for murder. I've, how much money did whoa, he have? Whoa, on whoa. Him? Oh. Uh dude, he's a filth cultist. He doesn't have shit on him. They're denying I'm kidding, opulence. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're not kidding though. You're anyway, so, I liquefy you're this evil. guy. <laughs> I bury it. I come back with two teeth. Okay, you come back with two teeth uh, like two hours later. Uh, Chuck, what have you been up to in the last two hours? Dick, where have you guys gone? What's, just, what's going on with chilling. everyone else? Okay, Chuck, on, on the last mm, strand of sanity, so hanging long. out by the side of the church. Hey. Um, <laughs> Dick, are you doing any... Where did you go? I want to... I want to see where Mike puts the tooth, the teeth that he got. Uh, he has like a sack on his, tied to his belt. He puts does the it, teeth in. Sack. Does it look like uh, it, it's got a lot of teeth in it? Yeah, you can hear it's doing like little teeth, like shuffle jangles inside there. <laughs> does, it look, it does, sound like? does it look like, like, you know, we saw how many people were in the sermon or whatever. Does it seem like the sack is appropriately sized for if he were to take like one from each person? Approximately, yes. Okay. All right. That's I'm all. Back. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know where we would go. Uh. Okay. Let's let's wrap up the insanity then. Okay. To keep us all uh, on the same page. Where was? Oh. He's dead. I guess I guess I would have gone outside and probably been with Chuck. What's up? Hey mate. Gave him me tooth, bro. And kill fucks. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Thumbs up. I'm about to do that See? too. I didn't I, give him I just, my teeth at all. I don't even think I, I can. I just went and got some pliers so me and uh Chuck can give him our teeth. Yep. Alright. Okay. Okay. Right, mate, then. mates, listen. I think he's keeping all the teeth in a sack on his person, mate. Oh, really? Well, he's about to add ours to it. All right. Well, I'm, I'm, I want to get mine back, mate. 
<laughs> Why? Um, you know, I got an idea here. What? Why don't we, what if we steal his the sack of teeth, right? Replace it with like a sack of stones, and then oh. we have all the teeth. Then we be in charge. Wait, what's <laughs> happening right now? <laughs> because we just okay. <laughs> what's what? going on? <laughs> what what are you I... doing, mate? You've been pissing for fucking hours, bro. What's I happening? have. I wish you'd have had this conversation hours ago. I really do. <laughs> well, you, it's hard to talk to you fuckers when you walk out of the fucking church, ain't it? When it's when we say we have to go to the bathroom, that means it's a group. You're supposed to mate, come with got, us. Mate, listen, we got we got two. <laughs> we. We can't afford to piss Mike off right now, mate. Otherwise, we're just going to have to run. So I assumed... Well, I if he catches us, we'll just say it was a joke. It's not... It's we, We're past that point, mate. <laughs> okay. You know what, Flaherty? Let's just do what we were going to do, okay? Okay. Let's Wait, do that. What are you, what are you doing? If, we're going to go... We're going to give him a tooth, tooth Chuck. So why don't you hand me that tooth and uh, I'll put it in my mouth. Here you go. Thank you. Let's go. Puts tooth in okay. mouth. Some fresh tooth. Flatsy's gonna like c cover her like bloody Listen to knuckles me. with Listen a cloth. Listen to me, Flaherty. Listen to me, okay? When we get in there. <laughs> Chuck. Listen to I, me. I, Listen I, to me. Listen to me. Chuck, okay? I killed him. I, I know you did. I can see it on your I face. It's to. written all over your face. I know what you've done <laughs> and I forgive you. <laughs> okay. And then Dick just says, why don't we just get the teeth back? Listen. Like, why didn't you say that two hours ago? I wouldn't have killed a guy. Just listen to me, okay? This is what we're going to do. We're going to go in there. I want you to start a fight with me. And then you're going to punch me, but not too hard because I'm, I'm very delicate. And then I'm going to okay. punch you. And we're both going to land on the ground. And our tooth is going to fall out <laughs> from the right, punches. Okay. Right? Right. Good. I get you. Good. Right. Okay. Okay, then. Okay. Let's right. go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. Hey, there he is. Our Mike. That's not a good nickname. What's you up, come into Radiant Mike uh, pulling from a different sack. He is throwing feces at the wall. Oh, yes. Welcome. <laughs> All right, Mike. Well, we've um, sorry about the delay, but uh, decided to give your teeth. We love this cult. <laughs> we love it here. We love this church. If it's good enough for Deck, it's good enough for us. We're a family, and we... Have done all this for you, Mike, and we're ready to do more. That sounds fantastic. So I just have a question. Do you allow fat women in your church? Because if not, Flaherty might have to find another one. What the <laughs> fuck did you just say that? Well, I've, you've, you know, for how long we've been traveling and not eating, you're looking kind of fat. Mike, how do you feel about stupid little twinks? Hey! <laughs> I refuse to take that from an obese woman. <laughs> what are you going to do about Whoa. it? I'll Whoa. show you what... Wham, bam, zoom, straight to the moon. Punches in face. <laughs> Randy, Randy and Mike walks forward and punches Chuck. Oh! Pushes him away. How dare you speak to a woman with those words, you little piece of shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Mike. Oh, that hurt. Ben's over. Flatty's, da Flatty's down on one knee after taking the punch. Oh, like, Mike. Getting my, the oh, you leave. really got me good, Mike. You ben knocked my tooth out, you little shit. Ben's <laughs> over, put hands, it puts, you know, I bend over with like my hands on my quads and I'm like, oh, oh and I like spit a tooth. Oh, Mike, my tooth. <laughs> uh, Hel Helmet leans over to Dick and says, hey, you think he'd win in a fight? Like for real. You know what, Mike? Clarity, mate. <laughs> Thank you for standing up for me, and I'm sorry. you can have my tooth. I'm and sorry. And the tooth to Mike. <laughs> I'll pick my tooth up off the ground. Mike, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have talked to her like that. Please take this as a token of my uh, apology. Mike isn't often very expressionful. You know, you can't really read his <laughs> face too much, given that his face isn't uh, apparently real. Uh <laughs> But he, he, he takes both the teeth in his hand and looks at them blankly for just a long enough moment for it to be weird. And then he puts them away. <laughs> oh. Well, gosh, thank you guys so much. That's I appreciate your enthusiasm in joining, but if you're going to disrespect any of the fellow followers and disciples of Radiance further, I may have to kick you out, Chuck. I'm sorry. I'm, hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really am. You know, we've all made mistakes. You killed someone <laughs> i i called her fat you know i'm sorry none of us are perfect 
But that's why I'm here. I'm here to learn. I'm I'm sorry I barked back, Mike. We're sorry. <laughs> he continues to blankly <laughs> stare at both of you with a pleasant smile. Right then. Can we you got some place we could rest? <laughs> I think we're all kind of tired. Oh, yeah. Come right this way. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Radiant. See. This corner's looking pretty nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it the poop corner? <laughs> well, someone had previously shit themselves a little bit over here. There is some blood in it. You get lucky, you might even find some corn. Oh, All right. there's no beds? I'm going to sleep under a tree. Uh, that they... sounds quite all right as well. Tree, yeah, I'm just one with nature. I think I'm just going to sleep right here. He just falls asleep in his armor. Can I sleep on a, the one of the benches, maybe? Mike? Uh, I, don't, that... I don't know if I... Do I need to sleep? I'm actually not sure how this works. Do I sleep? You I slept know. standing up like know. 14 times the day we met you. Different person. That's not me talking. That's Killfuck talking because I'm just ahead. Oh, yeah. sorry. I was looking at the uh, suit of armor. I couldn't even see. <laughs> yeah, it's right now. I've got to have two portraits. It's a light of sight issue. Yeah, the, the acoustics in here. <laughs> yeah. It anyway. sounds similar a wee bit. From the same town, bit. maybe? Yeah, some similar. I'm just going to sleep um. on this bench. Well, then, have you all decided what you're going to do with your futures? Yeah, we're here. We just gave you our teeth. Very well. Uh, do you want to have a sleepover party? We yes, could all yes, yes. lay in a pile and act like a swarm of rats. Yeah, oh. man, that sounds great. Lay I like to play this little game called Nightcrawlers. Lay in a pile, huh? <laughs> uh -oh. Cuddle pile. That's a wee uh, bit on the nose. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's uh, let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we can we get the armored gentleman out of my church? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> uh, does he need to is he is it because he hasn't given you a tooth well how deeply he's embraced yeah. opulence and That's hasn't given so me a tooth wrong. and refuses to conversate with me about the matter i find it to be quite odd that he would stay inside a place so holy with such disrespect oh, <laughs> i think he's sleeping okay well would you all like to help me roll him outside yeah, mate. Yeah, we. Yes, we would, Mike. Sure. Yes, we would, Mike. Uh, as soon as soon as she does, she wakes up. Come on, what? What's going on here? We're taking you outside because you're a stinky opulence loser. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Sorry, helmet. Just, all right. Helmet. Helmet. Uh, walks off. Okay, you don't have to push. All right. Why don't uh, you roll around in the dirt a little bit and see how it feels? Uh. I'll just you know, plot myself right here. He just walks over under this tree and just sits down next to the tree. Well, no, he doesn't sit down. He just he just leans up against it and falls asleep. All right, pile time. All right, everyone, in the corner. <laughs> I really well, don't have an option here, do I? No, mate. You're okay. with me. All right. Would anyone like the corner, or perhaps I can move to the edge? Corner is the best you, spot. You deserve. The yeah. Corner. Why don't you go yeah, ahead yeah, and edge Mike, yourself? We, we got to keep you filthy. And I'll be on the, the. I'll be on the edge. I have to ask that everyone here not tell my other disciples that we did this. They would be very jealous. Oh, yeah, I don't think like, you got to. I can about imagine. That. <laughs> you got to worry about that. Um. Sure, that'll count as a rest. <laughs> <laughs> How long are we doing this? I need to. I am. I need to. However long, long to get to to get eel, eeled. Yeah, I need to. I, need I mean, you're gonna long, you're gonna sleep rest. overnight. Okay. Yeah. Once Mike's asleep, I want to try and find my tooth from his sack. Oh. Bro, how do you how are you gonna know it's your tooth? <laughs> because I've got horrible, disgusting teeth. He's a fucking. You, should, you think these motherfuckers don't have horrible, disgusting teeth either? I want to try and find it. All right. Okay, uh, roll me subtlety to see if you don't awaken Radiant Mike in the pile. Dick is like a mouse, silent, able to get whatever he wants. Wow. Um, okay. 
how do I figure out which tooth is mine? I mean, it's fucking great. Uh, it's it's dark. It's incredibly dark. Uh, there's no lights in the room, really. There's a couple of candles lit near the altar. Um, but okay. your subtlety check is good enough that I will, you know, you could spend the time going through the teeth and trying to identify which one you think was yours. I don't know how often you're looking into mirrors or how confident you are on what your tooth looked like. He would have saw it when it was taken out. Yeah, I guess. I, I'm sure he's seen himself in reflection as well. Okay, I'll I'll allow that you get it. Nice. No harm there that you get your tooth back. He doesn't get kill fucks. <laughs> and otherwise, we're resting until morning. Yeah. Yeah. Platy just lies awake thinking of Jum. Your murderer. I, dude, I fucking melted him. It was fuck. You think my well tooth done. is worth less money because it's so fucking gross? Yeah. <laughs> Morning comes. Radiant Mike squirms out of the pile, slithering through the, everyone like a snake. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, hey, Mike. Blessed morning. What a radiant day, everyone. I hope you're all well rested from our pile. Mm -hmm. What yeah, glory man. does this new day bring? I don't know. A horrible horde of flesh monsters, probably, mate. Perhaps you can, um, to fit in a bit more. We can dirty up the place. We can pal around. I don't really <laughs> have too many things to do until my sermon later. We're gonna, we gotta look for Gilead, mate. Oh, well, what do you need that man for? Uh, to join your cause, of course. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that, which would, uh, honestly will probably be pretty hard to convince him. But also, on the off chance your radiance doesn't work, <laughs> it would be good to have someone to help us kill those things, provided they're going to try and eat us. Guys, I hate to have to confront you this way, but I'm hearing a lot of doubt. It's not that I'm doubting, mate. It's just we almost got eaten. You know, I watched Killfuck get eaten. Uh, they Dick. almost ate me. Dick, it's okay if you don't trust me. Or the I, I did filth. get eaten. It, it wasn't great. Killfuck should be all the evidence that you need that embracing the primal powers can even reignite your life. Yeah, but he's just a head. <laughs> That's true. I don't have much else going for me. Look, uh, it, provided we can't find Gilead, mate. He also exists as a problem in the sense that he saw the bomb. Uh, he knows we're involved. And honestly, killing him was kind of the thing that I wanted to do. I didn't didn't want to I, alarm you, man. <laughs> Mike, it's, um, we're worried that he will go to the consulate with uh, the tooth. Hmm. There are other so ways to solve this problem. Kind of want to nip it in the bud. What you got, mate? Well, I'm no expert, and I do admit, I was telling the truth that these bombs were not mine. What if we just summon more of them? Then the consul would have so many problems they wouldn't come for us. What well, do you know how That's to do the ritual? That's a great idea, Mike. <laughs> I'm sure I could figure it out. So wait, you, you're thinking? Mm. Yeah, all right, That's fine. So long. Wait, so you know how to do it, or do you know a guy? I feel like, with enough faith, we could all figure it out together. All right. Right. Uh, you, you, but we don't have to join the pile, right? Oh, no, no, no. Of course not. All right. So we're like your lieutenants, mate. Yeah. Well, I'm also, not so sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why not, mate? Well, I'm not sure that Flaherty or Chuck mind my... uh my speaking out here, I apologize, but I'm not so sure those were your teeth. Hey! <laughs> whoa! Whoa, whoa! Uh, I, I noticed... You saw him smack it like out at me! What, what's How... wrong with you, Mike? What are you... I... You're, what, you're, what's wrong with you? You know, we're, not... I'm sitting here excited to make a bomb, and you're gonna ruin the vibe like that? You're you're sick. You got problems, man. I just feel like Dang, not vibe. everyone has truly embraced the filth. And I feel like this may not be the life for you, well, and you're just like trying to do it to it, make no me happy. No matter what I do, you don't trust me. I give you my tooth, you don't yep. trust me. Yep. I tell you the truth, you don't trust me. Yep. There's no pleasing so, you, Mike. 
<laughs> Honestly, Mike, I'm out of ideas as to what I can do to make you trust me. What do you want us to do, Mike? I mean, we've done everything. Well, I suppose it'll only take time, but it is strange that you would awake the first morning and say you need to go. Why Why don't you think those are our teeth anyways, huh? Well, I mean, mate, we could hang out for a little bit, mate. I just thought maybe killing Gilead was a good step toward advancing our goals. Well, perhaps we should discuss what our goals truly are. Yeah, break balance, mate. <clears throat> yep. By corrupting the Holy Land, right? Yeah, the Holy Land. I hate the Holy Land. It's so stupid. <laughs> and we do that by Mike and the bombs, mate. Yeah. Look, Mike, we're not like your other followers who just kind of do nothing. We have to be doing something. Yeah, ah, I, I understand. About, the Wonderlust. Yeah. No, it's not Wonderlust. I get Wonderlust. Well, maybe it is for her, mate, but, you know. I mean, think about this, yeah, right? You know, we, we're, we're kind of experienced adventurers, mate. Right? All those fucking fishers and farmers and uh, herders, whoever you got in that crowd. Mate, they, we're, we're wasted here. Yeah, mate. Well, it's not that we're wasted, but we got things that we can do of the violent persuasion. We want to go do mate. stuff. Mate, you're wasting our talents. And your talents are killing Gilliard. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, he's like a, he's like a spot, but he's a yeah, snitch, mate. You know he's a, a snitch. Can, can we killed a bear. Out. We killed I a have... giant bear. And we've killed rats and men and the dogs. I, I apologize. You you said that Gilliard knows what you've done and you're scared that he'll tell others. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh. Well, then I suppose it is a noble cause to snuff him out of this world. That's why we're yeah, scared of the consulate mate. right now. I hate to see you go as you just joined me once more. And me and Dick never really did get to share a moment together. I mean, I... We touched your thigh last night, mate. It was pretty nice. Ah. It, tied, it tied me over <laughs> for, a li for a little bit. I knew I felt something. <laughs> yeah, I was too shy to wake you up, mate. Well, if this is the way it must be, then until our next meeting, I'm sure we'll cross paths again. Yeah, all right, boss. Uh, we're going to go around. I mean, I know, you say, I know you say you ain't seen him in town, mate, but we're going to ask some folks and then... Uh, Failing that, we'll probably come back. Very well, then. I will miss you while you're gone. I hope you have a radiant adventure. <laughs> See you, Mike. Mike, I hope you, when Mike. we come back, perhaps you can trust us a wee bit more. <laughs> yeah, Mike. You used to be cool, man. <laughs> You've changed. I don't think you changed, Mike. I think, you, I think you're radiant. Beautiful the way you are, bro. Oh, hey, Fuck, helmet. Chuck, that was close. That was fucking close. That was close. I don't think I... we should just leave this <laughs> island. <laughs> I don't think we should come back. It's so long. <laughs> we gotta get off of this island. We got nowhere to turn. We're gonna yeah. die. We're yeah, gonna man. die. We're Listen. dead. Oi, oi, oi. Got me tooth back, mate. Okay, well, the teeth I gave him weren't even ours. We can, I... Oh. We, uh... Someone died. Shh, We're murderers shut, again. Let's get, shut, oh, wait, 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 let's get out of here, mate. Shut let's your go, mouth. Let's go look for Gilliard, mate. We're looking for Gilliard, mate. Oh, uh, what do you mean Gilliard's gonna kill? <laughs> yeah, he might. He might, but we can, we can. If we explain to him that there's a way we can maybe stop this, he might not kill us, mate. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to be clear. Oh, let me be clear. I need to fully understand what I'm preparing for the next session. I don't know. You okay? <laughs> uh, I'll, exp I'll explain it. I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Okay. First, we're gonna go to this town and look for Gilliard. Okay. okay. Uh, and that's on the assumption that maybe Radiant Mike hasn't seen him. Maybe there are, isn't everyone. Everyone. Maybe everyone in town hasn't. Someone has him. to have seen him, dude. Uh, if they, if he came this way, maybe someone saw him, and they might be in town. Um, and failing that. We would go the other way and look for him. Uh, you you I, also no, brought no. up that you had the communication book to tell him where you are. Okay, you don't uh, want to do that. About that, out of character, that's a one-way communication, by the way. That is yeah. not a conversation that happens. That would you be sending a one-way well, message. Well, no, hold on. It does say they may not respond. So it's possible that they can, but I'm assuming he'd need some sort of telepathy or something. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know that in character, though. Um, yeah. But I assume we would... 
use that. Oh, uh, actually, I don't think we should use that. Oh, yeah. I, no, we, I, we, I'm, we, I'm sort of saving that as like a panic. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's a one-time thing, is it? Yes, it is. It oh. is one time. Okay. That's what um, I'm saying. It's one time. So we go to town. We ask around for Gilliard. If we can't find Gilliard, I think I would just try to convince everyone to go try and kill the troll anyway. <laughs> I think that I don't think that we should rule if if possible. I don't know how we would. We're pretty we're pretty far from like the ocean, right? Uh, I could bring up the map. Is leaving even a possibility? Probably not. I mean, we can uh, we either go kill a troll or we hop the wall, right? Yeah. And Ho which... Hopping the wall would make it harder for you to leave if you did decide to leave. If you want it to leave in a desperate fashion, there is a path to Clamtopia, but you probably wouldn't be able to leave from there. You'd have to sort of circle around. Here, let me get the map. You'd have to find a port, like some sort of port town, yeah. Uh, whoops. I cloned you. Nice. That would help. Yeah, if you guys just split up and have a simulacrum situation. Okay, uh, I'm going to put it down here. You are... You are... It's not pointing. You are here in Leiloon. Clamtopia was there inside that cliff pass. Okay. Flesh mass is here. <laughs> Other flesh mass is somewhere up here. But if you walked down that way, then underneath the uh, the flesh mass, you could get to the port town, but then you would also need a boat capable of leaving, which is not always okay, the case. And then this is the wall. The wall. The wall is here, is the wall oh, okay. you were going to climb to get to the next height. Originally, you were going to the wall to find Radiant Mike because you thought he was further north, but you found him in the church here, so climbing the wall may not even be worth it. Uh, the shaman troll is somewhere up, anywhere up here. Okay, so, 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 when, so when, he's over the wall. When yeah. I left here, I went this way, right? And Gilead went that way. Right? Um, did you actually see Gilead leave? Yeah, we literally, like, went our separate ways, after speaking. Yeah. <clears throat> like, we walked in different directions. Shorefor's so, still here? I've been here the whole time. Uh, I just want to double check if you remember that um, Flarity that you guys like you saw which direction each of you would have went. At that point, I thought he just became an NPC. So that's up to you. Well, I, I watched him leave. Then I left. OK, uh, then Gilliard would have walked south. OK. So that's so he's where... at the port town. Oh, yeah. So this is where the bomb went off. And I mean, that's all. That's all frick. Yeah, so yeah. Flatsy would communicate that with the group that when they split, he headed to the port town. Yep. <laughs> Almost looks like we have to go Gilliard? north. He went to the port town? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's so long. I went north, he went south. It sounds like next episode, we're probably going to try to kill this troll. Yeah. I don't know if we can kill it without Gilead. Yeah, I don't know if we can. I think we head we try and get to the port town. Or maybe that's maybe we just go to this village and we just <laughs> ask around. I don't know, man. Not a lot of options, huh? Well, how, how are we gonna go to this port? This is where the bomb went off. This is all just gonna be no, 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 no. So the bomb's here, but yeah. we could go around the forest to get to the port town. Yeah, but I don't know. It, I, would, I, it, it would, would still be risky because yeah. this main road is pretty covered. It's just all going to be devastated. We'll probably die. Uh, but the port town, whatever defenses it does have, you could potentially assume that it would be trying to create its own blockade or some way to fight them back so that they don't come in and overrun the town. So it is possible, potentially, if you went around or even found a way down this wall. Seems like a suicide mission to me. But the consulate's gonna be consulate is gonna be pissed. Alright, well, here's what I propose is that next episode you'll at the very least uh go around in town. It seems like there's still some thinking that needs to go on, so next session might be a little bit sporadic, because there's several directions that I may need to prepare here. Um, but I think you'll figure it out next session. I'll try and just get as much as I can. <clears throat> I'm for trying to go south to get to Gilliard. 
I would say we would search the town. Failing that, Flatty would tell everyone that Gilead was last seen heading to the port town. I think Gilead is going to kill there. us. And then I think we should try and get to the port town. <laughs> I, are well, we Gilead can't kill all of us. I, I, I think he's either going to kill us or he's going to have some people with him that's going to kill all of us. I don't know if you guys are forgetting how he was when we left him, but he wasn't very happy. <clears throat> yeah, but he there's, it, there's a bigger picture at play, and he'll see that. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I really don't know. And I know that Cheer Force is sitting there with a crap-eating <laughs> grin on his face right now. But yeah, I really, yeah, we'll have to talk you about it. I what guess I'm we'll, thinking, I, bro. I do know what you're thinking, and you're, you're like, nope. okay, you're dead. You don't understand, Gilliard. <laughs> you don't understand me. Yeah, whatever. Well, 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 let's get the, um... Fuck. Could we... Can we get a hotel room for the night and do another rest? My sanity is so bad. Dude, I didn't even... He rested everyone but me. I didn't even get any sanity. Can we do another rest, please, my sanity? Please. He fucked up the rest. I didn't even get it. My sanity, please. Please DM. Please DM. My sanity. Can't get another rest. No. Oh. DM, give, DM, give me my rest. Yeah. We're gonna look at the fan art. Fan oh. art. Fan I'm ready. Fan art. I'm ready. I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm so ready. ready, dude. I'm ready to go. And look at this fan art. It's Dick's eyeball. He looks like a turtle. Mmm. <laughs> Timmy, to a, a oh reaction. What the fuck? I'll take a look. What the hell? Nice. Gun. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really cute, uh. actually. That debuff's gone now, right? Because I slept. Smile. No, that debuff oh. is permanent. Mm. <laughs> uh, but next session, I may have more to it. Yo, that's great. More debuff. Yeah, more debuff. More debuff. Just getting punished. It's eerie and Gilliard. Eerie was in uh, old campaign. Bog. Cool. Oh, cute. <laughs> the, the comment is resident brain cell havers. I guess I've had <laughs> two players so far with brain. And of course you got like all you know like all yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah, working right, through right. it. We're working through it. They're they're gaining sentience. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh they, I think they're saying this was from episode 9. If it sucks, hit hit, hit the, the bricks. The bricks. Oh, you you can leave. Real winners, <laughs> Real quit. winners yeah. quit. Yeah. Cops if you're Kill quick. fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Kill <laughs> kill friend. Who's <laughs> this fucker? That's me. Not happy about it. Zombie kill fuck. Mm -hmm. F. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we're going to get to... Oh, we didn't... Oh, his body's completely destroyed, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. He's gone. 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 He's okay. fucking dead. F. So true. F. <laughs> I like this new kill see the outrun dick. I don't true. see the resemblance. Because, well, it's just the fact that Dick only has two <laughs> move, like minus two moves right now. So. Yeah, no, I mean for the next picture. Oh. <laughs> this is, somehow this is like the most normal looking Dick because he has yeah. like human proportions. Yeah, this is, yeah. Average Walmart proportions. Killfuck's looking like Fabio. Yeah, he does kind of look like uh, handsome. Flarity with all her teeth, loser. Realism. Yeah. Really good That's drawing. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why does he have a beard now? I, I don't know. <laughs> and it's we got enough. Mike. That's what happens if pile. you don't shave for two days. True. Like just gets a giga beard. <laughs> That's just what needs to happen. <laughs> I think you, I think your beard stops growing when you're dead. Well, yeah. That's up to you. You're the DM. <laughs> True. I get to, it's the deep lore. Doesn't doesn't your hair grow even after death? Isn't that a real? I think it's your fingernails that still grow. Maybe maybe it's your hair too. Gross. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Good, I hope you guys that had fun. Really good, that was a good really one. Good yeah, that was a good one. Uh, good I'll be talking to Shore for off stream to figure out what's going on with Gilliard, and I'll yep. see you guys next week. Assuming are, nothing are we else is going on. Next week. Actually, I'm good. I'm good. I'm done. Actually, what do you mean? <laughs> well, you I'm know, just because I didn't know how much 
prep work would it would take. It seems like sometimes that I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying sometimes that happens. That's all. I think it'll be fine. Okay. And especially because we'll you all we'll agreed. Make him do, uh, we'll make him do a couple laps. Was it three this this session? We're going to do three laps? Cool. Yeah, I'll just do some laps. Do some laps. Yeah, yeah man, do some the, laps. You hear about the corn cob crust from Little Caesars? Huh? No. What? What'd that mean? You playing? No, nah, dog. They got pizza with corn cob crust. No, they do not. Let me look it up. They actually do. I'm going to look up Little Caesars corn. Did they get the corn boy to... <laughs> Corn <laughs> cub cross pizza. What the fuck? This is fuck. Yeah. This is April Fools. This is not real. No, it's real. It's a whole. It's a whole butt corn cob. Cr what? What? <laughs> what? What? Huh? This is. What the fuck is this? Mmm. Yeah, there it is. Right there. When is there. it supposed to be out? <laughs> how? How is? It, how is it connected? Trash. Guys, I think it's a meme because they have two liters of butter, guys. I'm oh. sorry to disappoint. No! So you're no! a fucking liar. Uh, I didn't know about the two liter of butter, guys. That's a lot of fucking butter, man. You're mesmerized. Man. Okay, oh, see you guys down. next time. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right. <clears throat> You know, I think I'm going to take the rest of the night off and tomorrow off to hang out with family, man. So I think I think I'm going to do that. I think I think that's I think that's the right thing to do. You know. So, I think I'm off tomorrow and I think I'm off the rest of the night hang out with some family. Uh cuz I, I I think that's what I should do. But I'll be back Saturday and Sunday. And uh, and then I'll, I'll I'll try to sneak one in Tuesday as well. That's not a promise. I'm just saying I'm gonna try to sneak one in Tuesday. RP normies and shambles. Well, you know I think yesterday was a good one to leave it on for for a bit. So I think I'm gonna do that. Any word on the raid? Yeah. So basically, I was told.